Welcome to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, the World Nine Ball Championships. Serious pool and serious money. We're here with the Pro Billiards Tour, the last stop of the 1995 season and the richest payoff on the Pro Billiard Tour year. The winner gets $30,000. Semi-final competition today. The guy who wins it is playing for no less than 15,000. The guy that loses it gets 7,500. Serious pool and serious money. Jim Rempe's with me along with Buddy Hall, two world champions. You know, we had a great match a week ago, right down to the wire, pretty tense. 11-10, Luat beat Dominguez. Tough match, wasn't it? Gave it back and forth to one another, and uh, well, Luat came out the victor, and he played good at the end, so you gotta give him a lot of credit, and he's gonna be playing well in the final. You know, when I talked to them, he was so nervous thinking about all that money. I guess it's just me with a stupid microphone in front of him. But it was a match either man could have won, buddy. Uh, it definitely was a match either one of them. In fact, we predicted in the booth it was going to go 10-10, and we didn't know who was going to win. That's right. Rempe said that, and it was already 10-9, and I thought he was wrong, and <laughs> Didi was right once again. Let's talk about our two semifinalists today. First of all, Scott Townsend. We don't see much of him on the tour, but he's a good player. I've known Scotty for about 12 years. See, what people don't realize is Scotty's been winning tournaments for about 12 years. So he decided to come out to the Pro Tour. Here he is in the Final Four in the World Championships. He's going to be tough. Now then, we have seen John Archer. In fact, Archer probably won't yeah. even talk to me much because every time we see him, he's playing for a title or a championship, and we turn the cameras on, he comes up empty. But this kid can play, and he's a great winner on this tour. He's definitely not the new guy on the block anymore. He's a seasoned vet veteran. And uh, I'll tell you what, he's had a little bit of a slump this year. He's only been coming in second, thirds, and fourths, except that the last term in Reno, he came That's in right. first. He, he was a winner up at Reno, yeah. and he's promised me a magnificent present if he wins. He says he'll finally get me, <laughs> meaning the monkey off his back if he can pull this one off. Ought to be a great match, semi-final competition. Winner goes on to meet Luat next week. It'll be Archer and Townsend, and they're playing for big money. Serious pool, coming your way from Winston-Salem. You stay tuned. And so we welcome you to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This is the Benton Convention and Civic Center, and now we've got Townsend and Archer in the semifinal event. That's Townsend to the left, Archer to the right, and the lag to see who gets the all-important first break. Winner goes on to play Rudolfo Luat of the Philippines next week. Townsend wins the lag. And it'll be Townsend who has had the best lag and therefore will get to break first. Gives us a moment to uh, check the rules here governing this world nine ball competition like for the break you've seen them do that optional push out any foul the ball in hand to the opponent three consecutive fouls and that's the loss of the game of the rack have to hit the lowest numbered ball first and of course it's a race to 11 well ever wins 11 games first is the winner and will pick up no less than fifteen thousand dollars when they move to the championship go against Luat next week I don't know if we'll have an 11-10 game like we did with our semifinal last week, gentlemen, but I'm anxious to see Townsend play. I've not seen him, although, um, as you said, uh, buddy, he is a good player, and he's been around a long time. Yes, sir. And he gets a ball, oh, makes a boy. ball break, and just narrowly missed getting the eight ball. Well, I'm, predict ball. I'm predicting a blowout. I'm not just sure which way yet, though. <laughs> well, we have a, a situation here. This is the three. The two ball is right here. It looks like that the cue ball is going to come in to the two, I mean to the three, if he cuts the two in. Well, we've seen that before. Last mm -hmm. week we saw some balls that looked as though they just had to fall, that rattled right in the mouth of the pocket and refused to go in. And now Johnny Archer looks as though he's got this table pretty well set. Taking a moment to talk to Scott Smith, who is the referee. The only problems I can see with this rack is the four ball right here. He has to play position on the three to get to the four. Well, I, I think the four goes off the side and the, off the eight ball. Now he's playing the angle to come two rails around. Two cushions. While he was warming up, I was down racking the balls for him. I don't know how they rack them down. I racked them so loose they were falling in <laughs> before he even hit them. Well, if you're going to learn to play, Tom, that's the best way to start. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> He's come short. <laughs> I've got a lot of resolutions for the new year. I don't know how it's learning how to rack balls in a nine ball game. Maybe I could do that, Tom. Okay, He's going to bank it, guys. 
He missed it. He oh, missed boy. it. Ooh. Oh, boy. I believe you're going to see a lot of that this set. Just like a week ago, we saw it the other set. When you're playing on brand new cloth, the ball seems to slide a lot. You have to figure out how the table's going to play. Scotty Townsend, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Down the coast a ways. He's shooting this in the corner and coming three cushions around the nine. Five balls, six is up against the rail up on the Just, he's gonna uh, other end of the table. Pound this, go back and forth for the six. He's a little more of a roll. Port side. Yeah. Turning south, Paul. Warm up the left-hander. Huh? Oh, this could be dodgy here. What's going to happen here? He's going to be dead straight. Oh, boy. He's a little to the inside. Yes, he is. He's a little to the inside on it. No, I think it's straight in, isn't it? I got a good angle on it. And Have you? I think yeah. it's straight I, in the pocket. Is it really? I thought it was a little crooked. Like I, I, I saw it the way Buddy did. I thought he'd have to cut it a little. Buddy and I are going to have to go see the same optometrist, I guess, for that. Well, maybe you guys are right. No, I think you're right. Not Jim, that I see another shot at it. What? He's cutting it. Yes, though. he is. Yes, he is. What's he doing now? He's straight in. See it? That was good. Very nice. Very nice. Thought he wouldn't be playing for all this money if he couldn't play the game. And now the nine ball here to take the opening rack. You cut it on in. I think he's going to cut it. He's going to spin it a little bit. So. Thanks, so. Well. Got to watch out for the corner pocket. Oh, what was that? He scratched. Foul, wow, Mr. Archer has a ball, ball in hand. Oh, boy. Or it skidded one. And now, ball in hand, Archer, who... I'm sure had given himself up for dead in this first rack is a routine winner. One nothing. How about that? The vagaries of this game and how fortunes can change just that quickly. It looks as though Townsend was a routine winner. Scratched, ball in hand, Archer gets the first rack. Boy, I tell you. They both yeah. have their opportunities yeah. in that rack, that's for sure. He and Townsend are over there kind of talking to one another, like saying, look what I gave you. I think it's just that they're not used to the speed of the equipment right now. And the soft rubber, like you said before, this table is uh, playing, uh, the rails seem to be softer and, and, and plot this fast. So it's hard to judge it until you play a few racks on it until you get the rhythm of the table. Well, Archer will continue. And one and two are gone, three yeah. is the shot. See, when Johnny played that last rack for the, for the three ball, I mean, he played uh, for total speed uh, position on the three. When he shot the two ball, he cut the two ball and come two cushions. That was too early to judge that kind of a shot. He should have probably just played, like I said, off the eight ball in the side pocket. It was a sure shot. Where's he going with this, buddy? I believe he's going to position the cue ball right here behind the five, knock three up this angle. I believe he's playing safe behind the five. It's coming out. I believe, I believe he got it. Yeah, I, I think he did play it safe. Not as tight as he wanted it to be, but it's pretty good nonetheless. If you're new to this uh, serious pool nine ball, aside from the fact that they're playing for big time money, $30,000 to the eventual winner next week, this game can change almost in the blink of an eye. Last week, why um, Dominguez was up 7-4, suddenly was trailing 9-7, went ahead 10-9 and lost to Luat 11-10 in a heartbreaking finish. So there's a lot of uh, pool yet to be played. Townsend down one nothing in racks. Good hit. Boy, he really hit this good. Get it to stop. Well, Needs a cushion. There's a three to the cushion. Look at that nine ball. Did you see that nine ball? There it is. Look at that rascal just inching its way over toward that pocket. It all, huh? Just a little bit more. Always... Would been... Yeah, but that would have been a combination no one even thought of. <laughs> I believe he'll just try to cut this in. Uh, well, he does hit these kind of shots well. This is Johnny Archer. He's either going to try to hit the six or go inside the six in the pocket. Oh, he came between the six and the eight. Very nice. Look at how good he hit this. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Archer leads one game to none. It's the race to 11 to determine who plays in the finals for 30,000. You don't want Johnny to get a little run for his money here. I mean, he really starts going. When he starts breaking the balls good, he could put a five or a four on you real fast. 
that in the corner. Nice position, five ball. He's got the table all set. All he has to do is just, um, would you guys say, follow the dots? Huh? Oh, he's got the dots. Yeah. Do you play the six in the side here, Jim? I uh, can't see the angle he has right here. Yeah, six in the side. He didn't have much of an angle. going to go. Sure, and then the seven down that corner by the nine ball and hold the cue ball right there. Put the eight in the side and the nine ball back in this corner. Let's go. Uh, to, let's I, go to game three. I, I think you've I'm got it. It's going to come down, shoot to seven in the other side. Yeah. You really? Just roll the ball. Oh, I see. All right. I kind of thought. If he'd... it keeps rolling, he may go in the corner with it. Yeah. No, I had him down this other corner though. Seven in that side. Go to the bottom cushion. Bounce back down for the eight in the opposite side. <laughs> Here he just play the seven in the side, sending the cue ball down. He wants to stop right around and he wants to have an angle to go down to the table for the nine. So and far, was, so good. I'll come off the rail. He's going to end up playing this up in the corner. Yeah, right down by where the nine ball is. He was playing for the side, but he'll he'll take this. He'll accept this. He has the angle where he can just shoot it straight in, follow the cue ball to the side rail, and back over for the nine. Archer now just one more away from taking a 2 nothing lead in the best uh, of 11. He's got to get to 11 ahead of uh, anybody else. The race for 11. Archer having a little trouble climbing up. They have to go to the bridge. That's what he's going to do. takes a 2 nothing lead in the race to 11. We've seen Johnny many times on our Pro Builder Tour this year. He's always played well. Who knows, he may be headed for the finals next week. We'll be back with more right after this. Johnny Archer leading three games to none over Scotty Townsend, and we are rolling along now in semifinal competition, race to 11. Archer off to a fine start. Watch how hard he hits these balls and the extension with his cue stick. He follows right through to the one. Watch how far he follows through with his cue stick. Look at that, right to the one ball. Mm-hmm. But he's made at least two. All he has to do is come forward a couple inches. Of course, he has to make one. He has done that. Nice shot. Two balls right back up in the other corner. Three balls on that side. There is one of uh, Poole's all-time greats. I mean, I don't think there's a pool player in the world doesn't know Steve Miserak, the Miz. And he's worked with us on the telecast. What a delight he is. He and Buddy and I shook a couple of rafters just a few <laughs> tournaments ago. <laughs> the Miz is up there tipping the scales pretty good, and Buddy hasn't missed many meals either, I might add. But, uh, he's going to start a senior tour. He's talking about it. Uh, going to start in Carolina, Pinehurst, he says, in February. Right at the golf course. That's great. We wish him the very best of luck with it. Steve Everybody's Miz. excited about that, too. Yeah. I know people in my hometown that haven't played pool in years are coming out for that. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, he was putting on a little bit of an exhibition entertaining the crowd and they just loved them. Meanwhile, well, Johnny is just like I said, he's gonna, along, he's gonna put some racks together in this table, you can just tell. We've discussed it before and we talked about it a week ago about um, the loser ought to get the break. Rempe says no, Buddy Hall says yes, and I'm sure that if you asked Townsend over there why uh, he would say he'd love to be able to get up there and the loser get a chance to break him. And right now, Archer is on a roll, no pun intended. And he makes the nine ball, he has gone ahead four, nothing in the race to 11, and Archer appears really to be right on his game. Has a potential of being a blowout, like we said. Yes. Yeah. Archer wins game four. And it is extremely difficult uh, when you're playing well, as Archer is, when you break the ball and uh, get uh, a ball or two. And here's another look at, Watch his at the break. Watch his cue stick, Tom, how far it goes. Looking mm -hmm. right to the one ball and straight. No, it didn't go off to either side. It just went perfectly straight out. And that's where he gets all his power from. Made another ball. 
One ball. And he's got a shot, too. Hasn't he? He has a pretty basic shot. Here, this is the two ball. This is the ball he has to play position on in order to get to this ball. I would say he'll probably play the ball to this area right in here. And he has a three ball back at the other end where the one ball is now. So he brings it back for the two ball. Now he really has to be careful to keep from dropping down behind the four. Well, I don't think he's going to go that way. I would go between the nine and seven and go between the five and the three. But you see the shot? If you click the three, you're OK. No matter what you do, you're OK on this shot. He's going to he's going to have to burn it a little bit, though, Jimmy. <laughs> got to hit it a little. He's behind the four, maybe. Now he's going to get a good bounce. Kiss off the four. Yeah. I tell you, when you're hot, you're hot. When you're right, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Scott Smith looks on. He's the referee. He could have buried himself back at that four. Mm -hmm. He just got a nice kiss off it. Now he's all set for the three. And of course, the four is there, the five. This is routine stuff for a player of this caliber, huh? He's got it going. Yeah, he really does. He's up 4 nothing over Scott Townsend. Semi-final winner here goes on to play Rudolfo Luat of the Philippines. You thought Efren Reyes was good. Uh, while well, Luat outlasted Ernesto Dominguez, it was a, a tough battle, 11-10. You saw it last week. Very good player. Up and down the table. Yep. Back for the five. Even comes off the rail for him, doesn't it, huh? Very nice. Seven ball is all set in the eight. Very nice. Where does he bring the cue ball to, to shoot the eight ball, buddy? Hall? Oh, yeah. He's going to let his stroke out here. Yeah, he let his stroke out. He likes showing this shot off anyway. Careful. Isn't that beautiful? Is that beautiful? You guys at home, take a good look at these guys. If they should wander into your pool one of these days and, <laughs> <laughs> and want to play a little eight ball with you or a nine ball, take a good, long, hard look at them. These cats can play. Yeah. Well, Archer is making. Um, Awfully easy work of it. He has been picture perfect. He leads Scotty Townsend 5 0 in the race to 11. Semi final World Nine Ball Championship play. We'll 6 0 Johnny Archer over Scotty Townsend and uh, Archer and Scott Smith exchanging a pleasantry there a moment ago. And uh, Archer all smiles. And why not? He's played brilliantly. When he's needed a break, he's gotten it. And he's made his own luck on other occasions and has played as well as you can play this game. Oh, boy, just blasting that rack apart, putting balls in the pockets. Going to get the eight ball to fall, too. You know, we've seen him several times in our television series uh, this 1995 season. I don't think I've seen him play this well. Although, didn't we have him one week when he was up 10-4 and lost? He was yeah, up 10-4 yeah. playing Cam Davenport's lost. Right. That's right. So it's not over. Anything can ha no, it isn't over. Not till the fat lady sings and somebody says uh, he's got 11 and you've got something less than that. But I tell you, boy, it's going to be extremely difficult for Archer not to win. He is playing brilliantly. Right there. Five ball, six at the other end, seven in the line. Boy, and that break is so important, and when you do it right, it just... He does it as well, nine. if not better than anybody else, yeah, too. Yeah, you know, there's only nine balls out there, and you break and get two of, two of them to go, and he's been doing that every time. Really cuts everything down, and invariably, you find yourself in great position to run the table. Well, he hasn't made a mistake, has he? Outside of a little bobble in that first rack. And Townsend gave a chance to come back and win it. We're thinking about changing the Pro Billiards Tour into rules next year uh, to where we break from a D, in other words, right by the middle spot, the middle of the table. 
So it is now 7-0 in favor of Johnny Archer, who is just rolling along, headed for the finals, and maybe a $30,000 payoff. We'll be back in a moment. Winner goes on to play next week against the talented Filipino player, Rudolfo Luat. Johnny's shooting a 926 right now. His opponent's shooting a 625. The opponent, Scotty Townsend, has been at the table twice. You see where he's breaking from here from the side cushion? Watch the corner ball. See, he's making a five ball in the corner pocket. We're going to try to eliminate that next year because it seems like most of the players have found the range in that corner ball, and we're going to start breaking from the center to the table. Well, it looks to me like about all he can do is maybe just go into the three. He'll play the one up here. This is the two ball. This is the ball he has to play position on. He'll play with this with a high ball and just roll right into the three. He leads seven nothing. And Nicely done. He got the three ball out of there with the two ball. Any kind of a shot here? What can we do with this? I don't think he has a shot there. He may have a safety. He's stuck right up next to it. Well, he's played brilliantly. But the vagaries of this game, Johnny Archer knows him full well, as do the two champions sitting next to me, Jim Rumpy and Buddy Hall. I mean. Oh, that was a foul. Oh, he almost made it. You think he fouled on that? I sure think he fouled. Yes, he on. did, yeah. Did he? Yeah, the two ball went Smith Palm on it. It was right there. Well, it, was a, it was a funny kind of call. I mean, it, 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 in this kind of situation, you might not want to call a foul on that shot. I think Scotty did the right thing, but it could have been called a foul. Let's put it that way. It could have been called a foul. It looked like the cue ball caught up with it and stopped when he hit it the second time. Well, now here's Townsend with a chance to get himself back into this. Beautifully played now. Nice position on the three. And the four is back down at this end. He could run this and get back into this. And I was commenting on it a moment ago, the unfinished thought that uh, the vagaries of this game you make one mistake as good as you are and you can find yourself sitting there for a long time I think he's got a problem with a six right now he's got that funny little angle he's got to go near to six. Oh, he hit a perfect nice shot Townsend is from Florida we've not seen much of him on the uh, television end of the pro tour don't think he can't play. He just hasn't had an opportunity to do it here. No, he plays good. No question about that. Yeah. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> he had to beat somebody to get to here. Indeed. <laughs> Some of the world's best players took part in this tournament, been battling double elimination. Townsend, uh, at worst, would come away with 7,500. At best, would come away next week, at worst, with 15,000 past 30,000. So there's a lot riding on every shot here and he looks as though he's played this beautifully after getting an opportunity to do so. And it's going to be 7-1, we would think. Stretch his wings a little bit here, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, there you are, 7-1. He's not only got to feel good about getting that first rack. What about being able to play and playing well? So there you are, 7-1 Archer leads, and now it'll be Townsend to the break. He's got a pretty good break, too. Where do you see it? Yeah, he does the same thing Johnny does. Only he doesn't extend as far. Here we go. Archer's made 61 balls. Townsend's made 12. Balls missed or two apiece. Scratches on the break, none. Uh, they've percentage. played pretty close position errors. The Archer's made two and Scotty's made one. Of course, Archer's been at the table a whole lot That's more. That's right. 93% yeah, too. The 87% for Townsend. Needs a ball. He made one, but he may, not, he may come up dry. He may be able to bank the two. Mm -hmm. He's going to bank this. Probably just play the cue ball over between the three and nine. Scotty Townsend trying to get back into this game. Didn't make it and has left the table pretty wide open. He's not going to do it like that. No. Looks to me like he's going to wind up playing a combination 3-9. He doesn't really have the right angle. No, he can shoot this and hold the ball and then shoot the five in a corner, too. I or believe he's going to play the 3-9. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh, my kind of guy. Your kind of guy, guy, Tom. Kind he's going to play, <laughs> and he's gonna play the combination, I That's believe. Right. Put that two where? The side pocket and then just set himself up for the 3-9, huh? I think so. 
Smith leaning over his uh, yep. cue stick, checking it out. Nicely done. Just a little. Oh, well, he kind of put a little crook in it, didn't he? He wanted to get straight. He wouldn't like to have been a little farther yeah. over. Straighten it out a little bit. Temptation's got to be tremendous to do it. He can't make the three without hitting the line, can he, gentlemen? No. No, he's, well, that's not that difficult a shot now on that camera angle. Our producer, Gary, has got a great shot right there, and our director, that's lovely. Combinations are always tough, especially if you've got an angle where you're cutting the first ball into the second ball. Then throw in the possibility of $30,000 riding on yeah, it. It gets yeah, a little bit yeah. tougher. And so you can't even swallow. Well, ah, way to go. That's there how you hit it with a 7-1 to one lead. <laughs> that's Archer. Now he's up 8-1. All right, let's take another little look at that. Beautifully done by Archer, that uh, combination. Here it is. And I mean with authority. Yeah. Bang, no question about it. The nine ball goes in, and Archer now has come back to take an 8 1 advantage as you watch it one more time. Still keeps making it, doesn't he? We're in semifinal competition of the World Nine Ball Championship. We'll be back. 8 1, Johnny Archer rolling along here. Townsend got off the chair to get one rack. Now Archer leading 8 1. Let up on that one a little. He did, didn't he? Yeah, he, he didn't came. hit that one quite like he did the others. And he didn't get a ball. See what happens when it breaks him normal? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to draw this ball. He'll shoot the one straight in this pocket here. What he wants to do is he wants to pull it back into this rail, this rail, and all the way down the table. This is the two ball, the ball he has to play position on. This requires a lot of stroke. Let me tell you, you know, Tanzan's been sitting over there. He managed to get up and win one rack. Now he gets up, no balls are gone, and he's got to make the one and do everything Buddy said to get that cue ball all the way to the other end. Of the it's table. a big difference when there's still nine balls on the table That's rather right. than six or seven. That's right. <laughs> That's right, indeed. Yeah, with six or seven, they all seem to be hanging around a friendly pocket. Yeah. He may be trying to come straight down. No, he's trying to. He's drawing it. He needs a little more. Come on. All right. He's perfect. Good. No problem with that. Well, our sponsors certainly hope you're enjoying this presentation. Mayuchi, they make the great pool cue. Been a great supporter of the Pro Video Tour, have they not, Jim? Yes, Rennie? he has. I'll tell you, he's been our main supporter. An AMF playmaster. That's the table out there, and uh, they bring a whole new meaning of quality to the table. Also, uh, Sir Joseph, the best known, the most popular of the uh, Q gloves in the world. And of course, R.J. Reynolds, sports uh, marketing enterprises. All responsible for our visit here at Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Russell Bash will be representing AMF when we get to the championship. He'll have a trophy and check presentation. Oh, nicely done by Scotty Townsend. And T. Wayne Robertson of R.J. Reynolds will be on hand as well. Championship will be next week. One of these men will be going against Rudolfo Luat of the Philippines, who outlasted Ernesto Dominguez 11-10. If Scotty uh, runs out this rack, he's really had a tough rack to get out. I mean, you can see he's getting in between balls. He just played the three in the corner, come over for the four. Now he's got to get to the five in between balls. I mean, it's not been an easy run out. I like shooting it the way he was looking at it right then. Go What's two that, rails to cut it in the corner over here? Right, and leg the cue ball right between the 9-8. Mm -hmm. Two rails right between the 9-8. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, um, he probably knows what he wants to do, but he's got to take his time because he is down 8-1, and yes. he can't afford to make a mistake. This could be a little far. He's got to get it on the perfect eight. eight. Hit it. Oh, oh I think he's behind it. it. I do, too. It looked to me like he didn't hit the cue ball top. He hit it more center. Uh, he might be trying to kick this ball in the side pocket. He might figure, well, give it, give it a shot. Yeah, he's trailing eight to one. Uh -huh. He's kicked it in the corner pocket. If he'd have hit it hard enough, he did. He's got it. That is some shot. That is unbelievably oh, good. Oh, yeah. Nice position on the six now. He can make the six. That table looks very nice, and uh, that, uh, and why shouldn't it? He played a magnificent shot. He deserves to have it set up for him. Beautifully done, huh? Great play by Scotty. 
I'm not sure if he played that ball or not. I mean, that's a heck of a chance to play that kind of shot, isn't it, buddy? Well, you're dead in the water. When you're dead in the water, just go ahead and play that's pool. Right. You know, fear is a great motivator. Desperation yeah. is also. I mean, more things and guys are motivated by fear. <laughs> fear of losing, fear of this, fear of, you know. And desperation plays right in there, too. Well, what a great shot he made on that. Yeah. On that ball. I tell you, he sure hit that with a real what, nice what, stroke. What, 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 what? Wow. We didn't need that, did he? No, he didn't want to touch that no. ball. Not Start that difficult a shot, but when you're down 8-1, why, nothing is easy. All right, it is 8-2 now. Donnie Archer continues to lead, but Scott Townsend has shown some pool uh, ability as well you might expect of a guy playing for Look. the big money. Watch this shot again. Boy, he hit that ball square. Look at he that. spun it in there. Look he was spinning that. his cue ball to make sure he hit it full enough to stick. How about that? Well, he's narrowed the gap. It still is a big one. Eight to two as you watch it again. He couldn't play it any better. <laughs> and it set the whole table up for him, and he wins the rack. But he's down eight two. Semifinal competition continues. All right, eight to two. Archer leads. Scotty Townsend now with the break. Played a magnificent shot on the five ball. Eyed it up. Played it be beautifully. Beautifully. Played it a lot like old combination Tom here would have right. played it. That's yeah. Right. In my dreams, boy. In my dreams. <laughs> he breaks them pretty hard. I guess he does, ball. yeah. He has a capability of stringing a lot of racks. make the one ball? He made a ball already, too. So, I mean, he's down to and look the two seven balls. balls. Right there. Now there's yep. only seven balls for him, too. Yep, yep, yep. He's got the right angle to get on the three ball. I tell you, he sat over there in that chair so long, he must be salivating right now, looking at this wide open table knowing that he's just pulled off a great shot to run the rack. See if he can keep his string going now. Yep. Three well, ball. I don't know. He's okay. Know this. Yeah, you he's don't okay. like it? I don't know if I'd like it or not. He's got to play a funny angle on the five. Um, he could get real funny, get over the eight. He can't uh, he can't put the three in the corner and bring the five ball off the rail. I mean the cue ball off the rail to give himself a little better shot. Think so. I think he's too straight for that. You're absolutely correct. Oh, he cheated the pocket a little bit with that. Now he's over ball. He got to take a chance on fouling the cue ball or fouling the eight with his cue stick. Couldn't he have drawn that uh, four ball a little bit? I, don't, I thought he could have done something other than what he did, but he said he couldn't, and he didn't. Everything's all right now. Yep, very nice. And he's got the six ball up in the corner. Seven back down at this end of the table, and the eight ball's hanging in the side pocket. Well, I'll tell you the seven's laying really tough. He's got to play to the left side. To, of the, it. to the short side, yeah. Got to play to the short side. And he's going to be drawing into the corner pocket, towards the corner why pocket. Why does he have to play to the short side of that? Why does he have to play? There's, there's no angle to bank, bounce across the table. Yeah, the angle dictates it. See, he see the short side. You can get in trouble at spinning, see? Yeah, he got oh. in trouble trying to, Boy. he was trying to hammer it across. He got in trouble doing that too. Now he's gonna just try to put it behind the nine. Well, why doesn't he bank it off the, off the side rail? Yeah, and he'll go two rails up table, up there about where that chalk sets, where he just wants leave to be. It up. Behind the nine. Yeah, behind the nine. And leave the cue ball behind the nine. Oh, I see. Oh, he's in the pocket. Out, look, look, out, out. look out, look out, look out. Mm. He did great. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Now, Johnny Archer leading 8-2 to two in the race to 11. Was ahead 7 nothing at one time. I believe he actually hit a little thinner than what he wanted to. I think he wanted to hit the side rail and lag to the end rail. But as it was, he hit the end rail and lag to the side rail. <laughs> but either way, it's a perfect shot. Archer, what do you going to play it off the rail down there where he's standing. And he's going to kick to the side cushion here. This, I think he's just trying to uh, hit the ball. Hit the ball, see what happens. Hit it with speed to separate the balls if you, if you hit it full. Listen, if he hits that ball right, he could make it in that corner pocket. The odds are against him, though. Mm. Well, is that a gimme? Yeah, pretty much. If it, uh, the thing about this shot here is just your cue ball speed. He's got to put the cue ball in the same place that the eight's at. Here he's got the seven ball. He wants to play up here, but he wants to land the cue ball right here against the rail. He wants to be straight in on the eight. 
Speed, 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 speed. Perfect. Awfully good. Awfully good. Beautifully done. And explained beautifully, buddy. Townsend is just a couple of pops away from... Um, Here's a shot he's going to use. Rather than uh, the cue ball going to the cushion, he's going to stop it in front of the side pocket so he doesn't have to shoot off the cushion. Mm -hmm. See, now he's got the, he's, he's able to cue the cue stick or cue the cue ball with the cue stick in between the side pocket. Right. In fact, he was over there just a moment ago eyeballing that shot that he has just now set up. And he picks up his third rack, and we've got a match here. It is 8 3. Archer continues to lead. His margin of uh, leading is now down to five as we continue semi-final competition. You're watching the World Nine Ball Championship. We'll be back. Well, it's become a contest now. I think we warned you ahead of time that almost anything can happen. Players as good as these guys are at this level, you don't dare give them a chance. And Townsend has gotten to the table and now has narrowed the gap. Archer still leads eight games to three in the race to 11. This is Townsend breaking it now. Mm. Oh, Look out for the side. Oh, oh man. Yeah, he, he, see, that's the difference. He got kissed in the side. He yeah. made two balls and then makes the cue ball. Scratches Foul. that. So. Scratching the break is ball in hand. Anyone oh, like Buddy just said, he got, he got kissed in the side. Buddy, or Johnny got kissed out of the side. You're right. He made three balls. Well, he made four. He made the cue <laughs> ball, too. <laughs> All right. Ball in hand. And now Archer with a chance to pick up... Uh, his ninth game and widen the margin a little bit. He's up 8-3. Five ball will be next right down the end. He'll follow right down for the six, will he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of preference here, how far down you want to go. This is Johnny Archer, Raleigh, North Carolina. He was born in Georgia, lives in Raleigh, North Carolina, so he's a North Carolinian. He's going to play for the seven in the corner. Up the corner. No matter how easy these look, of course, you must proceed with care and caution. Take nothing for granted. Archer is very meticulous. I don't care how easy the shot is. If your concentration isn't there, I mean, one little the uh, lacks of, of your mental, you know, your... Right. Yeah. I mean, you wind up missing the shot. Yeah. Take your eye off the ball, you miss. Yeah. Let your mind wander a little bit. Start looking too far ahead. Oh, that's well done. Mm -hmm. And the eight, right up in the corner, that's all set up. What'll he do with the cue ball, gents? Will he uh, bring it back for the nine or what? Just draw the cue ball back a little mm -hmm. for the nine in the corner. Yeah, I believe so. Draw it back a little yeah. bit. And straight on now for the nine ball. Well, not exactly straight, but reasonably so. Archer looking for his ninth game. He has it. Beautifully done. And it came because the break was great for Townsend. Made three balls and then the cue ball scratched. And as a result, Archer is up 9 3. Semifinal competition continues in a moment. 9 3, Archer leading. I'm Tom Kelly along with Buddy Hall, the rifleman, and Jim Rempe. And we were just talking a moment ago as we watch Archer now with the break while we were away for commercial. Just how luck does it take a hand on the last break? Three balls made. Look out, look out. Could be a scratch. It is. On the last break prior to this one, Townsend made three oh, balls the and got the cue anywhere. ball kissed yeah. in. Prior to that, why Archer had done the same thing and the cue ball got kissed away from being a scratch. Here he pulled it right back in the corner and maybe the pool gods are going to even things up for a moment. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, but he can't keep evening up and evening up. <laughs> It'd be too late. <laughs> Let's go straight across the table and get, try to get straight in on the two ball. You got to get straight in on this ball here. He's, it's good enough. Townsend is trailing nine games to three in the race to 11. Winner will go on to play for $30,000 next week. The richest payoff on the Pro Billiard Tour. This is our final stop for 1995. We're in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He's going back and forth across the table, so he wasn't straight in. No, no didn't get there. Three ball, but I bet he banks it. Think he will? Oh, yeah. 
Or back down the corner, past the six, back down here. Is he going to bank it? There's the three ball right here. Yeah. The ball he has to play position on is right here. I believe that he'll shoot the three into this rail and all the way back down into this corner and just stop his cue ball right there where the three's at. All right. Thank you, Buddy Hall. Let's see if the man Townsend can do it. Looked to me like he was going to cut it. So did him, yeah. Didn't it look to you, yeah, Jimmy, exactly, like yeah. he was going to cut it? He's supposed to bank it. That's the right. shot. Looks it, to me it, like he's yeah. looking at the safety. That's right. That's exactly what he's looking at. And that's exactly what he's done. Look at the combination, 3-9. Oh, but we can't get the cue ball to it. Not yet. Coming up next. Yeah, he's got a shot here. There's a possible possible oh. combination right here. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Townsend has cue ball in hand. Scratched. <laughs> oh, boy. And I, he pulled off what was Now, do you shoot the combination or do you run out? Not the only way to lose well, the game is shoot the combination, isn't it? There's three different ways to win this game from here. He can shoot the combination. He can run out. Or Johnny's on two scratches already. How many ways are there to lose the game? How many ways is there? One way, the guy makes the nine. <laughs> One way to lose this game is just to fail to do any of the above. <laughs> you mean not make the three, not make the combination. He's not not right. going for the combination. Right. Let's forget that. He's not going yeah. for the combination. He's going for the run out. That's what he's supposed to do. But the only way you can lose that game there is to really play the nine. Well, I don't know. I think in for a penny, in for a pound. He is down 8-3. Anything can happen. I'd have gone for that combination, taking my chances with it. No, he's going to make a, a run out here. He's going to run the table. Oh, yeah. All right. Just he landed tough. Know. He landed tough right here. That just shows you what I know. I'd have gone for the combination. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he's all right here. Well, that's why they called you combination time. Right. Combination time. Yep. Yep. There he is. Yeah. Going to be all right. Townsend trying to win his fourth game. You know, this may sound strange, fellas, but at nine to four, he's in the hunt. Well, of course. He, he has a chance. Oh, yes. We alluded to the fact that in a recent match against Kim Davenport, why Archer was up 10 4 and saw it get away. Yep. He's run four or five racks in this tournament uh, quite a bit from what I understand. I didn't get to watch all his matches, but I mean, he's been playing really well, they said. You talking about Townsend? Yeah. Yes, I understand he has. Well, he wouldn't be here in the semis. He's a good a, player. if he couldn't play, B, if he hadn't been playing well, so. He's a good player, guys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would appear that this match is going to tighten just a little bit more. It'll go to 9-4. Nine four it is. All right, there's the rack, and here's uh, Scott Townsend. He's trailing nine five, making a comeback here. Johnny let's, Archer. Let's check out his break. Boom. Oh, we hit him hard. Wow, that corner ball just Watch the cue ball. In. He's going to wind up with a shot here. If it's not careful, he will. Yep. He's Look at the way these balls are laid. Everything's on the cushion, all tied up. Here is the only problem that I can see, Jimmy. Right here. Yeah. If he can land, when he shoots the three, if he can land in this area right here, I believe he'll be okay. You mean for the safety off the four or try to No, run? no, he can make the four, I believe. But that's a good shot too, just the safety off the four. But the, the four, I don't think he can get back for the five. I think the four and the five are too close together. He can't go back and forth across the table, can he? That may be true. Well, I know that uh, Archer certainly hopes it's true. Miss the one. Miss well, he's not going to have to worry about it. Yeah, let the other guy worry about it when there's that much problem. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the way he left him. He left him straight in on the one ball yeah, just enough. To, I, you know, yeah. that's, um, what happens? Well, of course, I've seen guys miss two, you know, 10-inch putts and two-foot putts and everything else that happens. Uh, he's one ball straight in to the side. He still has the same problem that the other man had. He, he's going to have to, he'll probably play safe. Knock the four or three rails out of there and just stick him up against the back of the five. Well, he's got the three. Going to put it in the same side pocket. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get straight in so he'll have that angle. He's looking at that four and five. As if to say, what can we do about it? 
If he can play the four and play position on the five, that's what he'll do. But if he can't, he'll knock it around three rails, just stick the cue ball. He's just going. He's playing the position for the safety. Yeah. I believe, don't you, Jim? Yes, I, yes, he is. At one time, when Johnny first started coming around the tour, I mean, he would go for anything, and that's just an unseasoned player doing that. He's become very seasoned in shooting the right shot all the time. He knows how important the safety play is in this game. See, watch this. This is going to win the game for him. Unless it goes in. Uh -huh. I don't like when you leave it that close to the, to the no, pocket, I don't though. Either. Because, it, you know, the guy's going to come close to the pocket. He's got a big area to hit up there to hit the four ball. You're better off leaving that shot out in the middle of the table somewhere or in the, on the top cushion. Well, no, he's, he's tying up the five ball. He's, he's going to just tie the five up instead. Where's, that's not a bad shot, but it's not a no, good shot. Is there any way he can break up that five-eight combination? I don't, I don't think, think so. He'll play the same shot again. He's playing position to play safe. He'll knock this one three rails out of there. Just stick the cue ball right there. Put the cue ball where the five ball is. Right, right, right. Just right places with it. Mm -hmm. and Scotty will be the man behind the eight ball after this shot. No, he's looking at it like he's going to play it. He's playing it. No, I don't think so. He is looked he? at it like he was. Nah, that's where he's going right there. The man behind the eight ball. Well, with but a slight. You know, that is a, the dead same shot he just pulled him over before. The only the difference board. is this is better. This is a lot better. He's got the cue ball a lot closer to the eight. He really does. No, really does. before Scotty could have went one cushion above the seven. Now he's going to have to go two cushions. Behind the nine and come around, is that it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he should have kicked the other shot. Well, why didn't he do shot? that before? I don't know. That's what he's, we were talking about. I, mean, I, I thought that right up against this I, ball. About I, the only shot I see is coming. One, two, yeah. boom. But he had that shot before, Buddy Hall. I mean, or basically, in fact, he had a little easier. Right, he had an easier shot before, Tom. I believe he could have played one rail across. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like to give the incoming player cue ball in hand. They can just do anything they want to you. Well, we're right down to the short strokes here, friends and he neighbors. Go, he figures to hit this ball, though. He might go three rails. He might go He right. figures to hit this ball. Scratch? Nope. Ball in hand. He wow. didn't touch it. Archer has cue ball didn't in hand. touch it. Ball in hand. Archer now leading nine to five. What an important ball in hand situation for. And he's smiling. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, I tell you, he's got a grim look about him, though. A victory here in the semifinal for Archer would put him in the finals and a chance for $30,000. This kid has played as good as anybody on the tour this year. He was a winner at Reno. But in the majors that we've been televising, he just has come up empty. He's found a way somehow, some way to lose. Well, there's only one other guy that could have played better than him. That's Efren Rays. That's why they're in the running for the yeah, Player of the Year award. That's right. Nobody else can take it. If Archer wins it, he will be Player of the Year by 15 points. And the, the points are evaluated uh, by a number of players in the tournament a number of, of um, rated players in the tournament, whether it's 64 or 128 or whatever. Right. And the um, the importance of the event. So these two guys have really played great. He missed this ball. He missed it. Oh, oh boy. here it got up. Do you uh -oh. see it, Kevin? Yeah. Do you see it? He lifted up on the shot. He lifted his body right up oh. on the shot. Well, you get an amount of points for each tournament. Whether if you win it, you get either 200 or 220 points, and then so on down the line for your finish in the tournament. Johnny looked up here like that. He'd give us all a look this way, this direction. Mm, that's too bad. What's he looking up here for? I don't know. Nine to six. At one time, it was seven nothing. You know, the shot he missed is a missable shot anyway. When you get a ball on the cushion, if you hit the cushion just going into the ball, you miss it by a lot. If you hit the ball going into the cushion, you miss it by a lot. You gotta catch that ball just right so that... Oh, you hit them hard, too. He's hit them hard. Boy, anybody get hurt? <laughs> anybody get the license number? And he's perfect. Truck. He's perfect on the one ball, and the two's hanging in the side pocket. Mm, yeah. He's laying awfully good here. If, if he knocked the one in here, I think that he has the angle to bring the cue ball here. 
here and back out. He's looking like he doesn't have that angle. Maybe he's straight in. He's perfect. He just stopped the cue ball there and then let the two uh, shoot the two ball float down for the four ball. Well, if he can do that, that's fine. If he can stop his ball, yeah. it looked like he had an angle. Though. He's got a little bit of an angle there. Oh, oh, he, he drew it back and and well. Rock. He's getting the swing of things now. <laughs> 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 These two guys, you are warming to the task here. I tell you. I don't even you want to stop. Trailing nine seven. Man, I can't believe he followed that ball that down far that that no. far down. Well, he's got an, uh, an angle on this. He can go between the five and nine. Just make sure you don't scratch. Well, he's, is he drawing the ball? He's going two rounds or what? Yeah, be between the pocket and the eight ball. I don't ball. know what he's doing. I My would, guess is that he would actually play to this area right in here to play the five ball up in the corner. I must admit, I don't think it's that tough a shot, and he is really working on it overtime. That was the shot that I thought he might shoot, end up shooting right so there. He, he won the perfect on the five, just yeah. follow straight up for the six ball. Yeah. Six ball in the left-hand corner pocket. He's already measuring where he'd like that cue ball to rest so he can put the six in that corner across the way. He's studying this a little if bit too long. If he gets out, is it going to be 9-8? That's what it's going to be. Wow. You, know, you know, look at what he's going to do here. He's going to follow this a high left and go two cushions. All he, had, all he has to do is just, all he has he's, to do is fall. Jimmy says that he's going to shoot this ball in, hit the rail here with a cue ball here, and back out to this area. That's what he done. He caught it. He, he caught it, it, but he's he got perfect. lucky. He's perfect. He nipped it going in, but that way he was going to hit it. If he had missed the ball, he would have been perfect anyway. But to me, it didn't look like look like he had to do that. He could have just followed up and played the six in the left-hand pocket. Well, I'll tell you, Rempe's among the best. What, what was your ranking? Seventh, eighth, ninth? Seventh. 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 Seventh this year. Seventh this year. You think I'm going to surround myself riflemen with guys that don't know squat about this game? That's You're right. kidding me. I got you with that telestrator. Look, look what he's done. Look here. what he's done here now. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Look at poor Johnny Archer. Wow, he got watches. in a bad Jeez. spot here. He has drawn his position ball. on this he's, ball. He's, he's drawing it one, two, two, and out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh it's coming boy. fast. It's coming fast. Nope. Not okay. fast. Wow. Oh, man, I can't believe you that far out of line on that seven. Just when you think it, yeah. everything was over and he was in good spot, whoo, he's going to be on top of it. Look at this, what he's done mm. here now. What's going on here? He's going to fool around and do something silly if he's not careful. If he misses this, he'll be a sick pup. Well, I'll tell you, I may have indicated to you earlier when it was 7 nothing and 8-2, that you never get too many games ahead. And now Archer sits and looks at Townsend and the match is nine. Here's the accuracy stats. Townsend's 857, Archer's 895. They're starting to play real close to even now. Boy. We got a ball game, boys. Mm -mm. Both of those are world class. Here we are, balls pocketed, 77 to 66. Balls missed, five to five, five apiece. Scratched on the break, two to one. Townsend scratched twice, Johnny scratched once. Yeah. Position error, three for Johnny. Here comes the one by the cue ball, too. What's going to happen? Oh, he got a shot. Mm. Has he got a shot? I don't, I don't think so. I'll tell you what, if he doesn't have a shot, he's got an easy safety. He's, he's got a bank. He, he can bank the one, I believe, is sort of like a hanger bank. Well, I don't know if it's a hanger bank here. I mean, he's... I think uh, it's a hanger bank. All he got to do is bank it, pull the cue ball back a little bit, and shoot the two in this uh, other pocket. This looks like it's dead on. He made the five ball in the break, so. Well, that's right what he's going to do. There's the shot he's looking at. Yeah. Where's he going to bank that one ball? You saw him back over? Yeah, I think he's going to bank this ball, one across the side, and just draw his cue ball back to this area right here to play the two in this side. He's got to hit. He's going to draw his cue ball back just a little bit. He's got to hit this ball soft. I think it's going to go long. That's a great shot. shot. Most guys would have had that ball come off the rail and kiss that cue ball and oh, yeah, kill he, everything, he, wouldn't they? He got the cue ball out of the way. Great he shot. He really did. Now he has to get position on the three, which is tough. And then get position on the four, which isn't that easy either. Wow. Okay. He's going to play the 
cue ball straight up table. He's going to try to get to this area right here. This is the four. This is the third ball he has to play position on. He's coming up a little short on that four. He's come short. Now he has to play position on the four ball down here. He got the nine blocking it. He's got, he's got, this is a tough shot well, right here. He's got to slow roll this shot with like uh, right hand English right around three o'clock, but not that far out to the side of the cue ball. Just a shade out to the side, off center. But with speed, just come straight down the table. You guys talk as if making that three ball in the corner was straight not down easy. the table. It certainly was. That was the shot. Well, right it wasn't there. an easy shot. It was a tough shot, and he, he ex executed it perfectly. Well, if he got straight in, he is perfect. If he's got an eight, he's got it. He's straight oh, in. That's There's the straight angle. in as you're going to get he'll, with he'll, that eight ball. Yeah, he'll like draw it back to the one cushion and back yeah. out to the middle of the table. Yeah, he'll draw this one straight back. He's looking to play it to in the, the side rail and out. I like drawing it just the way you said, buddy. Johnny Archer looks on. All of a sudden, this match has done a complete 180. Archer was up 8-2. Oh. Watch the miscue here. Nine, Watch the miscue. Watch the miscue here. He hit, it. he hit it good. He hit it good. Now he's got to do it again. He's got to miss the side this time. He's got to miss the side pocket with it this time. Back and forth across the table. All right. He's got to make sure he draws it above the side. I don't like this shot on a new cloth. Yeah, you can't really tell what it's going to do. Dangerous. Dangerous, hey, boys. Woo. He just caught the point. Wow. Dangerous, boys. Just mm -hmm. caught the point. Now he's got another tough up against the rail bank. Is it, what's it? You going to cut it in the corner? Cut in the corner, straight up and down. The nine ball is the biggest ball you'll ever see on this shot right here. The nine ball covers go one straight third up and of down the, down the table. table. The nine covers one third of the table. He, he missed, missed it. Nine. Oh. Oh boy. I mean, missed a seven. It was just a matter of time. He just kept getting out of line. Oh boy. Boy. Well, I don't blame Archer for taking a long drink. He'll remember. Oh, holy, oh, holy. That was going to be nine apiece. Yeah, he'll remember that shot for the rest of his life. If he Archer, loses. If he runs these three now, we'll take it. Look at Scott. He just can't. He feels like the wheels have just come off. They did? Yeah, well, you're right. And probably that half of Benton Convention and Civic Center <laughs> fell in on him. And if Archer can manage these three, why well, he'll think the entire building has fallen down uh, upon him. Uh -huh. Boy, it's nice to get this uh, towards oh. the end of a, of a match, isn't it? Uh, Would it be nice? Seven in laying in the pocket, eight close to the pocket. Well, yeah. he's still got to make the two of them. Jimmy, he's got to make the two of them. Yeah, beautifully done and great position for the nine. That's yeah. practically straight. Well, it's not straight. It was for a brief moment. Archer looking to win number 10. He did. So it is now 10-8. Archer will have the break. One game away from playing next week for $30,000. We'll be back to see how it all turns out. So we've come to this. We have 10-8. Archer leading by two in the race to 11. And uh, with the break now, an opportunity, if he can make a ball, if he can run this rack to move to the championship next week and play for $30,000. What a match this has been. Archer led 7-0, 8-2. Saw it come back to 9-6, 9-7, 9-8. Now it's 10-8. What an important break for Chase. Made a Ooh, ball. Just missed the scratch. Made a ball. One ball's going to be set up pretty good for him, too, gentlemen. Well, yes. Boy. Boy, I tell you, and you're right, Jim Rep. He Not just did miss the scratch. Here, yeah. Wow. I believe all they'll do is play the one in here, strike the rail, come out to this area here for the for the three ball. The fours on this side of the table, all it really is here is just connect the dots. The main thing here, the whole key to this rack, is stay in line. And the line starts with the one ball. It just seems like every time you do something like what Scotty did last rack, it, the next rack is just a yeah. uh, throw-in type rack. Yeah. yeah, right. Three ball in the corner. Um, any problem to get position on the four? Just right. draw it back here. Okay. Get anywhere on the ball. Draw it back. Put the four in this corner, and then 
Leave the cue ball right there for the five just, straight in. Just mm -hmm. out a little bit and stop. You can st if you get straight in, you can stop the, and shoot the six in the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many ways to go here. Everything's just laid perfect. He leads 10-8. Just stop the cue ball right there and cut the six in and go two cushions or three cushions with the six. <laughs> no, he's just going to draw it back just a couple inches. Well, yeah, because then he can't follow with it because that nine ball would kill him, wouldn't it? He's got to, yeah, right. he's going to have to have a tough, it'll be an angle on that six. Ball. Well, he's following back and forth. He's going to play the six in the same pocket. Oh, I see. All right. Excuse me. Uh huh. Oh, all right, Jimmy. Thank you. Yeah. I would have thought that he was going to finish back up there and cut it back here. Well, he could have, but I guess he wanted to put a bad angle on the five to do that. No, well, I think I you think are 100% correct. It's the play, way to play it. Right. I believe he wanted to be, be able to play two reels around to the upper right-hand side instead of two reels to the left-hand side. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about pressure? There's got to be pressure on this kid. Well, right there's now. a lot of pressure huh? on Johnny right now because... Boy, just... Try not to move. Oh, he's a here. little weak. He's yeah, a little that's weak. That's a lot here. weak. Oh, boy. That's a lot weak. Mm. You spin it in, Jim? I believe you do here. Yeah, I do, too. I believe you shoot at this. OK, you're going to spin this ball, and you're going to shoot the cue ball down here, hitting this edge of the seven, knocking it over here, and bringing the cue ball two rails out like this. Or three cushions, buddy. Or could, three cushions. Well, actually, four you can come. Well, let me tell you. You don't, don't, dare, you don't spin dare miss it, it do you? Because that seven ball is going to be hanging he, in that pocket if he, you do. Buddy, he's not going to spin this with the speed to come two cushions. He's going to go either four go cushions four. or he's going to put him behind the eight ball here. He might what be putting him behind the eight ball. That's what he's doing. He's putting him behind the eight. Yeah. But it yeah. does give Scotty a chance at the table, which is like a bonus. It sure is. He, he's got room. He's alive and kicking. He, he's got room to kick him back at this ball and send it up table. If he hits it square, he's going to snooker him behind the nine. Ah, there's another game, snooker. I love that game. <laughs> Used to play that game a lot. <laughs> I can't believe he's at the table. Oh, boy. He's going to kick behind the, the seven ball here uh, to the bottom cushion and try to stick him, you know, hit the seven, hit it full. And, and the leave the cue ball right there back right there. there. Jimmy's talking about coming down this side of the nine, hitting the back rail, and coming into the seven, knocking the seven up table, and sticking the cue ball right here in this area. Yeah. You like that shot, buddy? Yeah, I like that shot. It's so much easier on paper, though, than it is. Oh, I haven't missed a shot from here yet. How about you? <laughs> I've noticed that uh, you've been just picture perfect. In fact, I don't know why you were ranked seventh. I think you ought to be up there around two or three. <laughs> I'll tell you what Buddy Hall said. I said, the, the guy that wins it goes on to play for 30000 He said, you mean they're playing for money this week? <laughs> he thought it was just for fun. And I said, well, you'd probably try it harder to be up there on the tube instead of sitting here next to Grumpy and I. But, hey. This is a real hardball type shot right here. This is serious pool right here, this shot. Mm, amen. And Townsend is really taking his time looking at it. Well, he, if he pulls it off, as you've suggested, leave the cue ball there. He prolongs this rack. If he doesn't, why, uh, Archer could run it out and be playing in the championship next week. Yeah. It's just that simple. Scotty's got to be tickled pink to get a shot. I mean, Johnny should have been out that last yep. rack. Yep, yep. I mean, this is like a free shot at the money. Archer leads 10. What is he doing? He looks like he's going to hit this hard. That was the shot. Oh, he hit it. Uh, whoa. He hit well, it a little bit hard. He hit it a little too deep, too. Yeah, he should have spun into that ball more than just coming right straight back at it. Could have sent it to the side, cushioned it with the spin. Archer puts it up in the left-hand corner, does he? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I believe he does. He's going to hit this 100 mile an hour. He's going to crack it over. All right, he's going to fire this ball right in here, Jimmy says, and bring the cue ball over here and back out. In order to shoot that shot, he has to hit it real firm, real hard. Done. Well, he is two shots away, gents, from playing for $30,000.
Now just make the eight and coming back up, come right back on the side of the table you're standing. He's been, you know, he's doing everything except thinking about hitting these two balls. He's wiping a lid off the table. He's walking around, <laughs> chalk, moving, chalk. He's well, saying he, Scotty he really had a shot to be in the oh, game. Oh, yeah. Just that seven oh, ball. Gee, that seven was a big ball. Lord. Don't forget the, sh the eight ball Johnny missed before. Now this is right. missable. That's this right. is missable. He missed he it. Didn't miss that one. Oh, he hit no, it on the wide side. Didn't Jim Rempe, you thought he missed it. <laughs> Here he is. Look at the kid. He's got a smile now. Scotty Townsend, what a, what a match he's made out of this. He was down 7-0, 8-2. There it is. There he goes. There, it is. there he goes. What a great win for Archer. And a great performance by Townsend. We're going to talk to both of them. So it'll be Archer moving against Luat for $30,000 next week. The World Nine Ball Championship from Winston-Salem. You don't want to miss it. You stay tuned. We're going to talk to the winner and the runner-up. Tom Kelly and I've got quite a group here. First of all, Buddy Hall and Jim Rempe. Great semifinal matches, gentlemen, I thought, didn't you? I thought it was a wonderful match where everybody was sitting on the edge of their seat and Scotty missed a seven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you give me a comment, Jim? That's what the sport is all about. That's what makes it such a great game. This is a pressure situation. I mean, that's what just makes it great. And Scotty Townsend, whom we haven't seen much of on television at any rate, what a good player. Down 7 nothing, 8-2, never gave up, and how tough you were when you got a chance to get to the table. I just wasn't quite tough enough. I should have made sure I made the 7, you know. Indeed. Well, listen, everybody misses one now and then. And you have to run on out. <laughs> <laughs> You've got $7,500 to console you, Scotty. Talking about missing them, the 8 ball was on the rail or was it? Where was it? Uh, it was just a little bit off the rail. So uh, it, I don't want to comment on that one right now. <laughs> Let me tell you, I told the boys up there that if you didn't win this, Johnny Archer, I wasn't coming down to do this interview because you'd think I was a pariah. You've played so well this year, and you haven't won one of the big ones, but now you've got a big chance to do it. Yes, I do. Uh, everything's coming, whereas everything's coming together on the end of, in the end of the year. And so uh, I'm really enjoying it, and I've had a great year. This has been, uh, been one tremendous. of the best you I've ever had. Been tremendous. You win in Reno, and now you get a chance to play for 30000 and we'll talk about that special present you're going to get me. Don Mack. Jackie, the commissioner of the Pro Billiards Tour, what a great 95 it's been. What a great high note it's going to finish on. Unbelievable. 10-10, 10-11, 11-10, all the time. The talent on this tour is truly unbelievable. Scotty Townsend, I've got to congratulate you. <laughs> unbelievable match. Thank you so much. Don, they tell me 96 is going to be even better for you. 96 is going to be a great year for us. We're so pleased to be associated with R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company and with SME, a uh, division of sports marketing for R.J. Reynolds. Uh, AMF has been wonderful to us. Mayuchi's been wonderful to us. More sponsors coming into the game, more money, and my players are getting happier every tournament. And better, and the, and the events are getting better, too. Well, Johnny Archer against Luat now for the title. Any thoughts about that? I just hope uh, I don't get another shot like that on the eight. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you the best. Scotty, thank you very much. Thanks to you for being with us, too. Don't forget, next week, the World Nine Ball Championship. Archer and Luat for all the money. Serious pool, serious dough. For all these guys, I'm Tom Kelly. We'll see you next week at Winston-Salem. So long. Well, welcome to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and the U.S. World Nine Ball Championship. We're speaking to you from Benson Center here uh, in Winston-Salem. I'm Tom Kelly, along with Jim Rempe and Buddy Hall, and we're talking serious pool and serious money. This is the final stop for the Pro Billiard Tour for 1995, and it's the richest payoff. Gentlemen, somebody's going out of here tonight with $30,000, and if you're feeling bad about the loser, he's going to get $15,000. Luat, the young man from uh, the Philippines, was a very close winner, Jim Rempe, over Dominguez, 11-10. Very tense match. Well, uh, both these players really haven't played up their capabilities. I mean, they both missed balls. I think they were just more getting accustomed to the uh, surroundings, the different table in the finals, the new cloth, the fast cloth. But I think you'll see a different match this time. Johnny Archer won it. 11-8 seems like an easy win, but we know it was a tough one. He was up 7 nothing over Townsend, then 8-2, and all of a sudden he had to come from behind to win it. Well, it, the, what happened was uh, he got ahead seven to one, eight to one, and then the next thing you know, Scotty's making a comeback. He hits the point, comes over, gets a little tough on the seven, 
We're all sitting on the edge of our seats, and then boom, he missed the seven ball. And so was Archer City <laughs> on the end of his seat, too, as well. He has been almost a bridesmaid all year long. He's won, but he's not won one of the big ones, and this is a big prize, $30,000. Be a little tension, I would imagine, in this match. Oh, definitely. Well, Johnny's used to winning. You know, uh, this is the first time Luat's ever played on TV, except for playing over in the Philippines when we played Team America versus Team Filipinos when they played exceptionally well over there. And uh, I expect him to play really great here tonight. We thought the best Filipino player was Reyes, but Luat has shown that he can play very well. Any handicapping for this one tonight, Buddy Hall? Who do you think is going to win it? I don't really know who's going to win it. I want to sit back and just watch. How about you, Jim? I think it's going to be a close one coming down to the last three games. Well, you've heard the experts. They've told you all they know about it. It's bound to be a great <laughs> match. Serious pool, $30,000 serious money. We'll be back to get the finals of the World Nine Ball underway from Winston-Salem right after this message. And so here we are, the finals in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We're at the Benton Convention Center, and we're all set to go for what uh, generally is considered the most important uh, opening shot in all of sports, and that's the lag. The man to get the cue ball nearest the end line will have the first break. Mr. Luat and it's going to be Rudolfo Luat, who will break first. All important in the... Um, in the semis, why he won 11-10 over Dominguez was a very tough match, and Archer was an 11-8 winner in his match over Townsend. We'll check the rules that govern this nine ball competition. They'll lag for the break, optional push out, any foul, the ball in hand to the opposite player, three consecutive fouls and you've lost the game, have to hit the lowest numbered ball first, and of course the first one to 11 is going to be the winner and $30,000 richer. So here's Rudolfo Luat from uh, the Philippines. Very fine player. Not as well known in the United States as Efren Reyes, but among pool players, very well known. Big time with the break, smacks it good, makes Ooh. a ball, Ooh. and the six ball may get him. It's gonna be Looks close. Looks like the six has him hooked right here. Here's the one. The two and the eight are in a cluster here. There's a, there's a couple of problems in this rack. You may be able to short rail this. And he did. There's a combination of forming down here at this end, gentlemen, with that nine <laughs> ball sitting right there, just off the edge of the pocket. Oh, he has a real nice shot here. The bank shot. He laid perfect on it here. Right, he could play the eight too if the two, if the blind, if it made it. Now he sets the eight right down next to the nine. There's one thing for sure. There's a combination at the end oh, of this rack. The I eight nine you. is just sitting there. No question <laughs> about it. No, he's laid perfect on the four ball, but it, the, the five ball is, is, is laying in a little bad position here. It doesn't go in the top right corner pocket. He's going to have to play for a different pocket here. I can't Looks see like he has a little angle. He may be able to go up there. It was interesting in his match in the semifinals with uh, Dominguez two weeks ago. Why? Um, each man, it seemed, throughout the first four or maybe six games, always had something happen right in the middle of the rack that gave the other man the opportunity to go out and run the table, and they did. And they battled each other on very even terms, coming down to finally a 11 10 win by this man, Rudolfo Luat from the Philippine Islands. Well, like you said, in the semifinals here, uh, both matches started out slow. There was a lot of misses. Not a lot of misses, but a couple misses by both players. Here, Rodolfo came out of the box, broke, and looks like he's going to make a clearance. Uh, it's a good way to start out a tournament. Yeah, the um, eight ball is uh, certainly set up to help the nine ball into the pocket. That's the name of the game. If he gets the seven, and uh, he did. And of course, for Johnny Archer, you know, this is um, in addition to $30,000 and uh, major acclaim among his peers winning the world nine ball title as the fact that he if he wins this why well, he will be the player of the year the nine ball is made on the uh, combination and uh, Luat takes a one nothing lead over uh, Archer Archer if he can win this contest will end up with thirteen hundred and seventy five points and Efren Reyes whom we've had on television it seems almost every time out would end up with 1,360. 15 points difference separating these two men if Archer can win. Now here's uh, Luat again for the break. Wouldn't it be something if Luat beats Archer? He's the cause of it from being player of the year. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Philippi yeah. Another Filipino, right? right. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, 
Boy, look, that's look. a break there. It look at the cue ball. Shoot. Dead look at the, the cue ball. Right in the middle of the table. Seems like all he has to do here is this is the problem ball is the three. All he has to do is play the nine, play the one in this corner and stay high. Stay to this area right here on the two so he can come back up table. We have seen both of these guys just exhibit enormous power in the break. And now you take a look at uh, Luat. He's a very small uh, man in stature. He's slim. He probably doesn't weigh 125 pounds. Probably take a shower in a rifle barrel. He's so skinny. <laughs> How does he get all that power? I don't know, but a, little, a lot of little people are like that. Take Nicky Martin. He's, he's the same size as Luat, maybe. And Lick, uh, Nicky's big with the break, too, isn't big. he? Big. Yeah, very big, yeah. yeah. Well, it's all timing. It's all the, the timing when your arm comes down, you make contact with the cue ball, which your wrist flicking at the same time, your body moving forward, uh -huh. just that split second of timing. Yeah. Well, well it's quite obvious that uh, they've got that thing timed perfectly. Blew out with the bank. Four ball sitting in the pocket. Five ball. Two games, two banks. If he yeah. wins, he's going to the bank. That's right. 30,000. But I'll tell you, second place is not too ta tacky, $15,000. Put both these guys together, they might not weigh 250 pounds. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Archer is not a, not a big physical specimen either. There he sits, looking on Raleigh, North Carolina. Born in Georgia, lives in Raleigh now. That was kind of tentative. I thought for a minute he might have left it hanging there, but he didn't. You know, he started playing that shot like that. Look at this. A couple weeks ago. Here's the old behind the back shot yeah. again. They just make that as a matter of course. Take that right in stride. Show off. Yeah. <laughs> they really do do it well. That, uh, they play as well left handed as they do right handed, it seems. They all play great. We went over to the Philippines last year at Team America versus Team Filipinos, and they just drilled us. You know, it was myself, Johnny Archer, Kim Davenport, Mike Are they Siegel. the best players in, in uh, the Orient in uh, that area? Yes, they the are. Philippines? Yes, they are. But is, is uh, Billiard's uh, pool not having a resurgence everywhere over there? Everywhere. Everywhere around the world this game is being played right now. Well, Luat, 2-0, two breaks, runs two racks. He leads 2-0 in the race to 11. You're watching the finals of the World Nine Ball Championship from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well, as you see the score, we'll watch again as uh, Luat breaks. Get a look at uh, just how powerful he is. All Balls the, literally flying everywhere. All the timing uh, comes from, uh, all the power comes from the timing. When, you're, when your elbow is straight up and down, Watch, when the elbow is straight up and down, you make contact with the cue ball right there, and everything goes into action right at the same time. You know, that's, that's interesting there about L Lou. I, I was watching that Danny Harriman play once, oh. and he broke the balls, and his whole body actually changed locations. <laughs> I mean, both feet left the ground, and he landed about two foot forward. Well, Lou Watt has done it again, a break, and he has made uh, two balls. He's got the... Um, Good angle on the two to come straight down for the right three ball. Right in the corner, right where the cue ball He's coming is. straight into the three. Yeah. Just draw it back a little bit for the five in the, in the same corner the two ball went in. Did he get straight? Yeah, he's okay. He can draw just... He's got a little bit of an angle, but he's still okay. No, just draw it. I think he got, got money. No, no, just draw it a couple inches and just stay around there. Okay. He leads three nothing. See it? Archer sits on the chair across the way. I had a good angle on that shot, buddy. That's why you can see it from over there. I know you're playing position over there. I'm playing real good over here. I haven't missed the ball <laughs> yet. <laughs> a couple worth of a weeks you haven't words. missed the ball. <laughs> yeah, until I got out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He doesn't seem like he's too happy with this shot. He has to hit it too thin. Is he going to draw it? He's drawing it. That's one way. Good shot. And he brings it back for the six ball. With the six, seven, and eight sitting over there in the nine. Yeah, seven passes and goes in yeah, the corner pocket. Passes easy. Unless he uh, does something drastically strange. Boy, I thought he miscued on that thing. That has a kind of a weird sound to it, doesn't it? 
But he's got the sub ball right in the corner. The eight will follow in the nine, and he's going to be up four nothing. And Archer is going to be in trouble. He's got that arm loosened up now. It's all oiled up. He's got it oiled here. Rodolfo Ruat. The nine ball, when he makes that, will give him a four nothing lead in this final of the World Nine Ball Championship. Winner gets $30,000. You just don't do that. Why do you do that? I didn't expect that at all because of his Neither rhythm. did Johnny Archer, Jim Rempe. What's he going to do with it, though? Well, Johnny cuts these balls really well, so I think he'll just go ahead and try to cut the ball in the pocket. Scott Smith is the referee. 3 nothing. Luat leads, and this would enable Archer not only to win his first rank, but get right back into this competition. Oh, that's a big game there. Four to nothing. There it is. Four to nothing or three to one. Boy, awfully big. All right, Archer's on the board. Did you see he give it that little clenched fist? Oh, this is a very big item yeah. for Johnny Archer. He's trailing 3-1. He'll have the break when play continues in the World Nine Ball Championship. It was three love at one time. And now Archer taking advantage of a couple of miscues by his uh, Filipino counterpart has made it 3-2 and let's watch him again on the break. The last time we saw him, gentlemen, he practically had both feet in the air. <laughs> Jim Rempe, you were telling us a week ago that uh, they want to move that cue ball to the center of the table. Yeah, next year on the uh, Pro Billiards Tour, we're going to change the, the location of the break. Uh, you can see Johnny's breaking from the side cushion. We're going to move the cue ball to the center of the table and break from a, like, what we're going to call a little D, about a six inch little D in, in the middle of the table. That'll keep the corner ball from going in most of the time. You can see when, when they break the balls that the corner ball is the ball that's usually made. Boy, he separated that rack rather well, but he didn't get anything to fall, buddy, huh? Luat has, excuse me, has had a chance to win every single game. Mm -hmm. Well, the one ball right down in the corner seems to be wide open. All right, he just needs to pull the cue ball over a little bit here. Make sure he gets a shot. He needs to make sure he's got an angle past the he didn't get past the five did he nope I don't think so no no he's a uh, oh yeah he's yes he's all right he's okay barely I think. barely yeah he's got to really take his time make sure he gets out here all right three ball right in the middle no he still has an angle here where he has to go between the seven and four I think yeah. this is the ball he has to play position on he has these two balls right here are blocking his path. He may come two rails out to this area. <sighs> Got to stop right there. That's too tough. I think he's just rolling in. Maybe just roll it soft. He's going to try to draw the cue ball on the other side of the seven, and then back with right hand English and stay right around in there. Well, that's uh, uh, no. that's not the easiest shot. He tried to come over further inside the seven ball to the cushion. I don't know. I kind of liked what Buddy wanted him to do. Why couldn't he just follow that ball right up to the, the rail? rail? In other words, to send the cue ball right at the four, if nothing else. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got a bank shot here now. He's made the last two banks that he went for, so. He bank it or cut it? He's banking it. Bank it. He leads three games to two. Well done. Came right between six and seven. He's got a wide open shot at the five now. And barring uh, something unforeseen, why um, he could run his advantage to four games to two. Very important game for Luan right yep. now, especially given Johnny the last two two games. Oh. First one to eleven is going to run off for thirty thousand dollars. If it's Archer, why he indeed is going to get not only thirty thousand dollars, he's going to be the Player of the Year on the Pro Billiard Tour. Nice position, right back out for the seven. They make it look so easy. That was just carelessness, that missing that nine ball like that. What he's got to do is he's got to forget that. He just got to shake that off and just play pool from here on out. That's right. That's why attitude plays a big part in this game. I and mean, when you do some, something stupid like that, you just got to shake it off and get right back out there and wait for your next shot. Then he's got a good opportunity right here. I would follow this ball. I wouldn't stop right there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. No. I'd follow it. Just he's like following. That. Get to the cushion. 
Yeah, that's the way to play it yeah, right there. Get the angle so you can shoot the nine in the same pocket. Mm -hmm. Looks awful easy. For me, it would be a major cut shot. <laughs> Put that thing in the corner. Just that simple for Luat. He's about to go 4 2 in the race to 11 for $30,000. So, Rodolfo Luat has taken a 4 2 lead over Johnny Archer. You're watching the World Nine Ball Championships from Winston Salem, North Carolina. We'll be back right after this. Okay, Luat will be back to a break now as he leads four games to two. Race to 11. If he wins this and say, takes 30,000 back to the Philippines, that's about 300,000 our money back there. <laughs> Made another ball. Yes, oh, breaking up good. He asked me to thank his sponsor, Jose Puyat of AMF Puyat over in Manila, uh, who is a friend of the Pro Tour also, and uh, just a great guy. You know. The only problem I can see is the two ball right here. He's laying against this rail. He has to come to the outside of the one. This is a ball he has to be careful of. He wants to be able to shoot the one and pull his ball back so he can play the two up in the corner. This is a touchy shot. There, he's all right. He played it long. Take the long shot and make sure you don't get behind the five. You know who we haven't thanked? Who? Oh. The Pro Billiards Tour. No. Oh. Well, this tour is really growing right now, isn't it? I mean, uh, we got some good people in the industry. He missed a two ball again. Wow. We got some good people in the industry behind him. Miucci of Miucci Q Sticks. He makes one of the finest Q Sticks in the whole world. We got the uh, RJ Reynolds. AMF. AMF. And some other people coming in. And we have a lot of plans for the tour next year. A lot of new locations. A lot more fans are calling in. They want to know when we're going to be in their areas. It just looks really good. How, that is just pure carelessness to he miss that two ball. ball. Did he, he? miscued on the ball. Yeah. Did I he? mean, that is just. It sounded like he miscued two. I'm sorry. It sounded like he miscued two or three times. It's a lead pipe cinch that shot for him. He missed that pocket by two, three inches. And he's given. You can't give Johnny the chances no. that he's given him. Given Archer a chance to run this table and to get right back into this at 4 3. I'll tell you, tell you somebody else we haven't thanked is our commissioner, Don Mackey, who's been putting this whole thing together. All the players are really behind this guy. I mean, he's done a lot for the game and has the right uh, mental thoughts about which way this game should go, that the players should own their own sport rather than the industry owning the sport. In every other game, the players own their own sport, and that's what we're doing in this game. Well, he tells me 1996 is going to be even bigger and better. The tours had a very nice 1995. This is the final event on the... 95 season and the richest payoff $30,000 over $100,000 in total prize money 117,000 total the winner gets 30 grand the loser or runner-up player gets 15,000 our semi-finalists of the last couple of weeks went away with 7,500 apiece oh what how well played that is beautifully played Bob responds with a nice round of applause for Archer He's looking to make the eight and the nine, of course, and go to uh, four, three in games, trailing by one. This was a 128-man board starting out, and uh, we paid through uh, 32nd place. Well, that's great. And it augurs well for the future. That kind of uh, prize money and that kind of attendance is going to make uh, the competition even better each and every week out. And more guys will be jumping to get out here and play. There you are. Four, three. Well, Jim and Buddy, we've seen Luat. Really, those three games, not that Archer didn't deserve to win them because he had to win them, but he was literally presented with those three. Yes, it was. Both. Luat should have won every game he's yeah, played. He so had to be up seven zip. Instead, he's in a deadlock or nearly so at 4 3. And now here's Archer at the table to you break. Know, I've been noticing something. Usually when Luat plays, he just sits by himself, never talks to nobody or anything. And he started the match out that way. But there's some people sitting by him over there, and he's like being distracted some kind of way where he's having conversation with them. I don't, I don't know why he's doing that. That's the wrong way to play this. You've got to have your whole mental everything into this game. No distractions. Archer made a ball. He might play the one into the two, play the two ball, two rails around, back up behind these two balls. Might make the two ball. There's a possibility of that. 
Now he's you're looking at the three ball. You're beginning to border on my favorite type, the he's, slop shot. He's the going you're beginning to tell me, but hit that one. Hope the he's, two will knock the three in. And he's off. going for the three ball. He's planning to carry him off the one into the three. He's going to send a one down the table and back up to the same area. Watch him just swing that around right off the one ball, just like that. He missed it. Well, that, oh, was, that was the worst ah. shot I've ever seen. <laughs> if, if he made it, it would have been a great one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny how you do, though? When you make a shot like that, you look like a genius, and when yeah, you miss, miss it, it, you yeah. don't even want to talk about it. So what the heck oh. did he shoot that for, what he says? <laughs> He's saying that to himself as he goes back over there yeah. and sit down. I think he shot the right shot. He just hit it real bad. And he got that double kiss and banged that cue ball right in. Now it's ball in hand for Lou Watt. Who's been struggling in the last few racks, hasn't he? Yes. yes. He's made one mistake in each of the last three. And as a result, why Archer is right back in this at 4-3. Right. But I don't know if Lou Watt's going to continue to give him these presents. He sure started strong. He started out really strong and then just eh, almost went away. There's no real problem on the table there, is it? I don't see one. No. Nope. Just put the ball in the pocket. <laughs> that seems to be it. Rodolfo Luat. Four ball. Well, he caused the problem now. Yeah, now he's got to go all the way over or just, I don't like soft drawing this. I like it. Well, the pockets are uh, generous, so he might just pinch this ball a little bit, a little bit of right hand English and just stay right around there. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Hmm. That's what he's done. There's the seven just sitting, waiting to be knocked into the end pocket. Eight and nine in turn. Very available. Oh, he cheated oh. the pocket. He cheated the pocket. <laughs> now, he is on a self destruct mode, gentlemen. I mean, yes, that he is. is that is the fourth time now that he has done something that is totally out of character and totally unworthy of a man who's playing for $30,000 and has the skills that he has. And now here's uh, Johnny with a golden opportunity once again. The World Championships. Boy. Archer knocks in this seven. Good well, position now for the eight and the nine, well, and he's all deadlocked at 4-4, four, four, and he's He's got to feel like a guy that the governor has just called and said, you know, we found somebody else did it. And so we're going to pardon you. Man. Wow, and look at the face on Lua. He just can't yeah, believe he's gotta, what he's done. He's got to shake that off. <laughs> well, I don't know. Lua has done an outstanding job of uh, drawing this match even. Archer grins, and well, he should. They're deadlocked at four. Well, we're tied at 4-4, and Johnny Archer now with the break, and what a break he's gotten in the last four games. He was trailing 3 nothing, And then, uh, for some strange, uh, unexplained reason, why Luat just suddenly decided to miss what appeared to be relatively easy shots. And on each occasion, why uh, Johnny got right back into the contest, and now may be very difficult to catch indeed. He's deadlocked at four, had a nice break there. You know, believe you me, I mean, uh, Luat does not play like he's been playing this match. I mean, he's only he's been playing in this country a couple of years right now. I think he's ranked ninth, and he didn't get that way uh, from uh, missing a lot of balls like this. He may well, have a shot here. Do you think he's got a shot at that he, one ball? He may have. He may have a shot at it. How would he play it? He just cut it in. That's all of it he can hit. He can hit just enough of it to make it, I think. We well, call it. He's got, threading the needle, isn't he, it? He got the porthole, we call it. Uh, there it is. Well, if he makes this, you got to run the table, and he missed it. Well, he missed it a mile. He yeah. jumped sky high and a shot. <laughs> but he, he could, may get. He got lucky oh, here too. Oh, what a good save he got! <laughs> Crowd applauding. A miss that turns out to be as good as a make, huh? Yeah. Archer kind of looked at it and grinned a little bit, as if to say, "Boy, so far so good. If I ever get to playing good out here, I'm going to win this whole thing and the thirty thousand dollars." Luat has uh, given him a chance to run it again. Yes, he has. Well, nothing easy, though. I mean, he's got to cut the one back into the left pocket and, and bring the cue ball either three cushions around underneath the nine or draw a low right hand English and sweep it back across the table. It's a pretty tough shot here. Johnny Archer looking to take the lead for the first time 
in this final World Nine Ball Championship. He trailed three nothing, three one. Missed another boy. He's he gonna get safe. No, he, bounced he out for him. <laughs> he would have been safe if he had right. the five. That's right. Almost safe, but the one ball is very available now for Luat. Luat's better better taking advantage of this one. He better start playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Johnny hasn't been playing that no. well either. Lou, I got bad on this one. Yeah. And he's okay though. He can just stop the ball if he has to. Uh, Archer's had big time opportunities handed to him to get it to four each. Did you say deadlock or brain locked? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll snap out of it. These are two great players, and they'll overcome all this. Lou out trying to um, right the ship, so to speak. That. Yeah, didn't he? That just hung there, tantalizing for a moment. Well, looks pretty good now. Five ball in the corner, and seven right back down here. Huh? Do they? Know, does Lou Ott know that they're playing foul on all balls? That I would work. imagine he would know, wouldn't he? Yeah, I would imagine he knows that. In the corner. Another one that hit all the huh? That He's touched all the oh, sides. Pocket. Yeah, he is. Rearranging those. Huh. Drilled that one. So, Rudolfo <laughs> Duat of the Philippines takes a 5 4 lead. I'll tell you who's going to win this is whoever snaps out of this coma they're both in. <laughs> whoever snaps out of it first is going to win because sooner or later one of them is going to snap out of it. Well, it'll be an interesting finish here. They're playing for $30,000. And of course, in the case of Archer, if he wins, he, his point total will be 1,375, which will be 15 points above Efren Reyes. And Archer will then, in addition to being the world nine ball champion, will be player of the year. Look, he's going to get kissed in the corner pocket. He's going to get hooked. He's just going to get him. Then. Boy, he is. I think it just shoot right into this point and back into the three, knocking the three up here and just leaving the cue ball right where it's at. It won't knock him back into the pocket for a scratch, will it? And he's just going to roll the cue ball straight out. Oh. Straight out about four inches. There you go. That's it. Same shot. Push out. Mr. Archer has the option. <laughs> Archer, uh, what will he do with the one ball? He can bank it back across or no? Yeah, he'll play both balls across table. He'll bank the one across the table and let the cue ball go to the side rail and back across table too. You're trying to end up with both balls on the same side of the table here. He'll have the cue ball up there pretty close to the three and the one ball pretty close to the five, I think. Yeah, that's the right shot. Speed is of the essence here. Speed was perfect. How sweet that is, huh? It's not frozen. Yeah, he let him go, though. He can bring the cue ball between the seven and eight to the bottom cushion and just, uh, you know, a lot of left-hand English and make sure you hit the one ball and see what happens. Well, I would make sure that I hit the one here. I wouldn't worry too much about getting a rail and all that stuff. If you hit the one, you're pretty well going to get a rail. <laughs> I just make sure I hit it. I wouldn't want to move it very far. Oh. He brought it out of there. Yes, he did. I don't know. Living if I would rather have... dangerously. I don't believe I'd have done that. No. If I was going to do that, I would have hit it a lot harder. Yeah. And maybe he had to curve his bow. Well, he certainly has given Archer another golden opportunity. Well, what was my prediction at the beginning of this match? Well, you told me you thought Archer would win. I did not say that. Well, I, I said it was going to be a close game at three oh, within see. three games. Well, I could have told you that. that was <laughs> close. I mean, come on. I mean, you Rempe, know. you're finished seventh in the standings. You're one of the great pool players in the world, and you're giving me that. You know, it's going to be a close match. Now, is well, that is that an expert's opinion? I could say that. No, in the, world. the last one I thought was going to be a blowout in, in the semifinals there you are. with Towson and, and Johnny. I thought it would be a blowout, and that turned out to be a real close one. 
heard it here first, folks, a couple of times. It's <laughs> going to be a close match. <laughs> I mean, at the end. <laughs> Archer trying to run this rack and tighten the game up at five all. <clears throat> Not a lot of problems, are there? I don't see any. No. A lot of spin on this one, a little low left hand English. Yeah, Killed just, the cue ball. Yeah, just soft draw it. Nicely done, seven up the corner. We have to pull the cue ball back a little bit, play the eight aside. And we'd, we'd be deadlocked at five apiece in the race to 11. Jim Rempe's going to look like a prophet. Going to be a <laughs> close one. Tonight. I asked Buddy Hall, you know what Buddy told me? The guy who gets 11 is going to win it. He followed that two cushions. He took a little bit of a chance there. He's trying to let his stroke out a little bit to get, get a little confidence back. Everybody always asks me, well, how do you overcome the pressure in this game? Well, it all comes down to uh, confidence. If you've got a lot of confidence in your game, that just overrides all the pressure. The deadlock. Archer converts. And it's 5-5 five, five in the race to 11. And the race for $30,000 in the uh, World Nine Ball Championship. We'll be back with more from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We're tied at 5-5. Five, five, and Archer now, who has really been a beneficiary of some rather strange play by Rudolfo Luat. Now, with the break. Watch again. He really gets into it. No pun intended. I mean... His body is literally right up off the floor, jumping into that rack. Ooh. Look at the layout. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. your places. That's right. I predict that you get to see your combination. This the 6-9, have you seen, huh? There yeah, it is. I huh? predict it is. that you get to see a combination. There it is. My palms started to sweat just a little <laughs> bit thinking about it. <laughs> I must admit that easy, easy. All right. Don't worry about that two ball. Archer trying to take a lead for the first time. Look at here. Oh, worst, what the are you worst do with that? Could couldn't, oh, couldn't have put That's it the, worse than that, could he? You may not get to see your combination now. I believe he's going to try to go around it, around the nine. You think so? Yeah. I think he's going to try to go around the six and nine. He's trying to cut that three all the way back in the corner. He oh, missed it. Boy. Can't believe the mistakes these guys are making. Oh, <laughs> oh, well. Jimmy just thought he was going to miss a ball once they cost him five games. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that's, that's Luat, right. <laughs> Luat has missed enough to allow Archer Look at this to shot. be tied at five, and now Luat gets the benefit of uh, an he, Archer miscue. He's liable to miss this ball. The way things are going right now, think so. Well, I mean, he usually... Uh, it's missable, isn't it? It's missable is what The I way meant. they're yeah. playing, yeah. The way they're playing. Archer looks on as if to say, this isn't uh, the, U or the world nine ball. This is giveaway. I wonder what the stats on this match is. We've had a lot That'd of games. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd like to see how they're playing. Lots of should'ves, could'ves, and would'ves. Should've, would've. Yeah, could've. It could've. Okay. Shoulda, woulda, if I coulda. Well, Luat appears to be uh, on top of the stroke now with the 7, 8, and just the 9. But he got funny with it. No, the 8 goes in the side pocket. He'll just draw it straight back. Yeah. I should, yeah, I shouldn't think. Uh... Well, you never know. Yeah, he missed the 7 straight in last time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> look, look at this, out, he's going to scratch. Out. He's going to scratch. You think it is? No. No, he's just teasing. No. Oh. Oh, I'm telling you, every shot has got you hanging on the edge of the seat. Oh, he rolled it. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Neither can wow. Archer. Wow. Archer doesn't know what to do except miss a shot, let Luat go to the table, and then when there's two balls left, one of which is the nine ball, Archer gets back up, makes them both, and is going to take a 6-5 lead. If this was a fight, they'd stop because both players are too bloody. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, they'd have had the doctors in attendance in here. <laughs> We're deadlocked at five apiece. Archer taking a long look at this. 
Boy, the way these two are playing, there's nothing for certain. There's the A. Gonna get a nice position for the nine. Luat sits over there, stoic, impassive. No smile, no nothing. And Archer has taken the lead for the first time. Six games to five. Archer with a smile and the advantage in the race to 11 for the World Nine Ball Championship and $30,000. So Archer leads six games to five, largely through the largesse of one Rodolfo Luat. See if he can take advantage now of the break here and go on and take a big lead in that race to 11. Probably what he'll do here is come down and hit this side of the one, knocking the one over here and back, bringing the cue ball one, two, back up to this area. You just come off the side of the one like this. I believe you'll play safe on this. Yeah, defense. You hit it real good, too. He hit it. Excellent. Yes, he did. Very nice. Put the one ball at one end of the table and drew that cue ball. One ball is right up there with the five and drew that cue ball all the way back down in no man's land. Is the five is dead? If five might be dead, all he has to do is hit the one ball here, I think. Can he get at the one? Yeah. Between he, the eight he and nine. Rail first. He hit it on the wrong side. Yes. Can the one get by the three and everything down here? It looks that way. Yes, it does. Archer again with what appears to be a pretty good opportunity. And there's a three nine combination. Yes, there is. <laughs> Any problem getting to the two ball? No, just uh, make the one ball. The cue ball's coming in that direction anyway. He's, he's got multiple options here. He can play it in either pocket. He can play it in the right hand pocket, the left hand pocket. Right now he just wants to make the one, see where he lies on the two ball, whether to play the combination or shoot the three in one, one of the pockets. I like your thinking, Jim Ruffy. The way this game has been going, just take them one at a time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I tell you, looking ahead two or three shots is great, but it hasn't been really something either one of these guys have done with great success. I believe he's either going to play for the combination to this area for the combination on the nine or to this area for the combination on the seven. Archer leads six games to five in this race to 11. The winner gets $30,000. If the winner is Archer, he will be the Pro Billiard Tour Player of the Year, beating out there's Efren a, Reyes by 15 points. There's another shot he could shoot. He could try to drop between the eight and nine, play the three on the side. Looks like that's what he's trying to do here, but he's going to get behind the nine with that speed. Oh, boy. Uh, he no, got a shot. no, he's got a shot. It rolled over the last second. See, I've got Rempe thinking my way. He's a little upset because that should have come off still another rail, played it up off the side <laughs> rail, and had that 3-9 combination. Right, Jim? Yeah, go for the gusto. You could see it. I That's could see right. it. And what is it with Archer that he just can't see came, that shot? Well, came up short on this, and now he's got to <laughs> no, finesse his way through, cut that three ball in the corner. Side. Side pocket. That's what I said. Cut up the side. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, it's clear sailing from here. If the seven will pass. If it doesn't pass, then he'll have to play the seven in one of the side pockets. But I believe it. I believe it'll pass. You don't like a seven-nine combination, huh? No, well, you guys I don't are think really, that'll happen. You guys are really tough to get into the uh, flow of things here. Five in the corner. I believe the seven passes the eight right there. Yeah. Johnny Archer took the lead at six-five, and he's trying to embellish on it now and make it seven-five in the race to eleven. I think Johnny's going to play good from here on out. There's no problem with the seven. Uh, no, it goes by the eight. You can see it right there. Okay. You can either play for the eight in the opposite corner pocket or bounce back out for the eight in the same pocket. Seven in the corner. Can we come back and take the eight in the same pocket? Probably the nine in the same pocket. Exactly. Now. Done. Now all he has to do is put that nine There's ball in the pocket. Johnny Archer's father. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny isn't concerned about that right now. He's oh. concerned about getting to 11, and he's now leading 7-5.
Well, it's 8-5. Archer is leading. Jim Rempe, Buddy Hall, I'm Tom Kelly. Rempe said that he thought Archer was going to start to play better once he got it at 5-all uh, on some gifts by Luat and then took a 6-5 lead while he's not been headed. Ooh, five ball went in, came out. How about the one ball? No, no, no shot. shot. He made a ball, though. Yes, he did. What's he going to do now with the... Have to bank it off to hit the one ball. Away. Well, he's got the option to push out. Uh, he may push the cue ball to this area right in here. The reason for that is that's the hardest place on the table to do something with the one. Push There's out. really no the shot there. Has the that's it. That's the push out. I now, believe he'll get to go uh, again. Yeah, he's going to let him shoot. Luat can either take that or he can give the shot back. Well, I think he'll give it back. What do you think, Tom? He just did. He didn't waste any time at all, Bobby. He, <laughs> no. Buddy, excuse me. He just <laughs> looked at it and went right back over and picked up his cup of water. Now, what do you think Johnny's going to do here, though? That's the question. Okay, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to bend down, shoot to six, shoot to one behind the six and stop his ball right there, maybe try to stick him behind the five? Is that what he's trying I to do? I think he's going to try to draw up the table inside the seven and the cushion. I tried to stick it against the five. Didn't like that. He was dead in the water there. He was. Yeah, but the drawing the cue ball up table wouldn't have been bad, you know, because the one's running into the six ball. It's, it's neutralizing the, how fast it's going to be moving. I believe he's going to be okay here. He, this is the two ball right here. He'll probably play the cue ball around this direction. Luat needs to get something going like a run of the rack. He is trailing 8-5. Round of two balls in great shape now. Well, the four may be tough. He may have gotten a bad angle. He may have to play the four up in the other corner. He might draw it up to the top cushion and back down, too, if he's got the angle. He's already miscued once. He's not off. I don't know if he's going to like that or not. That's what he's doing. Oh, he hit the five. See, he, you have a tendency to let up on your stroke a little bit when you've already miscued once. Uh, he has nothing here. Uh, he's cutting it in anyway, I think. That's a good shot if he gets by the five. Not going to. No, he opened up the five. Yeah. He sure did. Yes, he did. That he opened up the five and the four goes by. Yep. yep. The wheels have come off, that's for sure. It's going to put Johnny at nine. And that's getting close to where you're going to win. Well, he leads eight games to five. Put the four in the corner, five in the other corner back up there. Six, seven, eight, nine. They'll be, they'll be re racking. He seems to be just a little bit troubled by the seven ball right behind him there. He didn't well, shoot the shot. Safety, isn't he? Why didn't he shoot that I shot? Don't I don't know. I thought that was, um, I thought he had a chance to run this round. Yeah, he didn't feel like he could hold the cue ball on the five. Is the only reason I would see well, that. Well, why wouldn't he go back and forth? Well, I, mean, I don't know. Well, if, it, wow. if he loses this game and, and loses the session because of that shot, he'll remember that for a long time. I like shooting at my hole if you got a shot. He needs some help here and he got it. <laughs> well, he continues to get some breaks. We're talking about Johnny Archer. Would he cut this back in the corner or play it across the I think side? so. Does the five go past yes. the seven up there, Jimmy? Yes. Yeah. Well, then I don't. Yes. All kinds of room for the five. I don't know why he didn't shoot the four. So far, it hasn't hurt him, though, has it? See how much room there is there between the five and the seven? He's, right, he's going to hit this real slow with a lot of spin, I think. Yeah, he has to in order to get it to the inside of the eight. He missed it. Oh. Got a break there. Look at that beautiful position on the five now. Easy, easy. Ooh, he almost corner hooked wow, himself. Wow, didn't he? But he hit it good. Draw the cue ball back here. Just make sure you don't get behind the eight ball. I don't know. Johnny's middle name may be Suspense. There's Don Mackey's wife. Yes. Our commissioner's wife, Diane. Takes care of all the office work for the Pro Tour. That's right. Does a real good job at it. Thank God for Diane. I'll hear about 
that from Don Mackey. <laughs> but he has it coming. I think he says that every day. That's right. I don't know how he, he could get by without, without her. Well, you know, Archer's going to run this now, but for the life of me to go back, I don't know why he couldn't have made that four ball in the corner and, uh, and, uh, and delayed it by, you know, one shot of giving uh, Lou out a chance. Is he worried about the eight for some reason, fellas? He's taking an awful long time looking at He's that. just making sure. He's made so many mistakes this uh, session that the, he's just making sure. And despite all of that, he is ahead eight, five, and now looking to take a 9-5 advantage and in the race to 11, what a big advantage that is. And remember that if he does go ahead 9-5, he'll have the cue in hand for the break. Mm -hmm. Archer's given us some great thrills this year. He was ahead 10-4. Kim Davenport, yeah. Needham. Wasn't that something? Oh, what a match that was. And he had a big time, big time struggle with Townsend. Was ahead 7 1, 8 2, then trailed and came on to win it, huh? Towson, it was 9 8, and Towson missed yeah. the 7 ball. Yeah. Archer completes it, makes it 9 to 5, taking a very big advantage over Luat. Have we told you that Johnny Archer is not only in line for $30,000, but his first major championship win on the Pro Tour this year, and Player of the Year honors if he wins it. He would finish with 1,375 points. And Efren Reyes, whom we've featured and seen many weekends here on the Pro Billiard Tour, would finish with 1,360. Uh-huh. He's thinking, just let me win one more, and then That's I'll get on the hill. One That's more, I'll be on the hill. <laughs> any problem with the one ball in the corner? I don't see any problems at all here. He's just playing safe. He's oh. trying to come under the ball here. He tried to get all the way down behind the eight. Mm. He would have scratched if he hit it any harder. Yeah. Luat um, led 3 nothing at one time to open it up. And then a series of miscues by the young man from the... Philippine Islands. But Archer right back into this contest. And it's going to hang up in the hole here. No one in the pocket. Made it. How about that? I think the seventh got him. Uh, may have. He can see the two, but he can't make it. No, but he can hit it, but he can't make it. You're right. At least I don't think he can. I didn't know he could make the one until a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to count him out here, guys. I don't think nobody in the audience knew he could no. make the one. <laughs> Do you suppose that in deep in his heart he knew he could or thought he could? Well, he must have or he wouldn't have tried it. I don't know what he's doing here. I know it's a big corner pocket down there hitting across it. Oh, look at this. this is a Hitting across that ball like that. That's a big pocket. Oh. He got oh. away with it. He sure did. did. He really did get away with it. He was just that close to giving Archer ball in hand with a 9-5 lead. Wow, what kept that cue ball from scratching down there? The gods, huh? Well, this any suggestions for this one? Yeah, I would suggest he hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks to me like he might just hit this and hit this hard. This and go is for the a two lock. ball. This is the cue ball. I believe he's just going to come into this rail and right into it and just blast it. Yeah, and see what he comes up with. Or maybe to the back cushion and hit, just hit it with a medium stroke. Well, he may come down this side to the rail and back into it. He's jumping he's over the eight. He's going to yeah. jump over the eight. Well, how about that? He's jumping a whole ball. Here's a television shot if I've how ever seen one. How about this? Yeah. He does this very well, too. Yeah, right? we get to replay out on this one. Amen. <laughs> and he made it. <laughs> and he got away from the scratch. And hit oh. The whole, oh. oh, how about that? <laughs> I can just see some kid yep. at home watch now this, practicing watch this. that on dad's uh, table, and you'll just wow. tear that, that table all apart doing that shot. Here's another Unbelievable. angle. Unbelievable. Well, what a shot. What a shot. And look this at how is. close he's at the point. Yep. Oh, it saved him from the scratch. And gave him the right angle for the, ooh, he almost fouled the four ball. The chalk almost hit the four ball. Wow. <laughs> that would have been a foul. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Johnny Archer is just, well, Staggering to what appears to be a $30,000 win here. He's got a big angle on this. He's going to have to bank this ball. 
I believe he's going to bank this ball. We're talking about the three ball and he has to bank it. Well he can Ten. cut it in but he can't hold the cue ball up for the four ball. And that's back up on that. Uh, yeah. Top so rail so to there. hold the cue ball he's going to win the bank in the three ball. Well with all the missed balls in this whole series he's come with the best shot of the whole Has series. Really? That was unbelievable. How many times back and forth? Once or will he do it twice? No, just straight back. Just straight back. Like that. Yes, right there. Hey. See the enthusiasm, the energy? You just <clears throat> give him one of those. He sees the light at the end of the tunnel now. That's right. $30,000 worth of daylight. Beautifully done. Yeah. Now the four ball. Yeah, all he has to do is stay in line here. He'll probably play the six on the side. No, he's going to play in the corner. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Just draw back just a little bit here. And seven down the corner. The Ten, five. So Dolfo Luat facing an uphill struggle. What a weird, what a weird confrontation this has been. Back and forth, each man not playing at his very best, of course. And yet somebody's going to win, or from the looks of things, why Johnny Archer is the guy. This one in. And the nine ball will be next, and that will put him up 10 5 in what one would think would be an insurmountable lead. And there he is, 10 5 over Rudolfo Luat. And Johnny Archer with the break now, and one more rack away from 30,000 and the Oh boy, I tell you, world nine ball title. We'll be back. This could very well be it. Archer leads 10 games to five in the race to 11. And if he's successful with the break, gets a ball and has him set up, he could run the rack and uh, run off with the world nine ball championship and $30,000. Boy, he has worked hard all year long in this final event on the Pro Billiards Tour, the richest payoff on the tour this year. And what a major title this would be, world nine ball champion. Johnny Archer, can he do it? He's going to let it all rip on this break. Wham! Oh, yeah. Made a couple balls. Made one. Made one. That's all it takes. Yeah. Look at that three ball spin. He's got a shot. He has to have a shot at the two in order to break the three and the four out. But he, all, he hasn't done anything easy in this uh, game. So if He missed the a, one. Yes, he, missed he the did. One. If this is a tough rack, why, that's right up his alley. He's been playing almost from behind from the opening uh, break. He trailed 3 0. Uh, Luat uh, gave him several big opportunities that enabled him to get back at 4 4. It was 5 5. It was uh, 6 5 the first time that uh, Archer took a lead. He's not let go of that. He's run it all the way up to 10 5. And now Luat, with his back to the wall, really has got to do something to try to. Get back into this contest. He's playing safe here. Yes, he he's going to break the three and the four. Out. Look out! Oh my! Oh my! Didn't leave much of a shot at the one though, did he? No. He might just stop the cue ball right there. Right, that's what he's looking at. He's going to just hit the one, fall in the face, and stick his ball. Yeah, the one goes into the four, off the four, off the cushion, and comes out on the other side of the three ball. Yeah, on the other side of the table. And you people thought this was an easy game. Watch and see if you can do it. Maybe he, <laughs> he got lucky. Yes, yes he, he did. did. Maybe. I don't know if it passes. I don't think it does. does no. It doesn't go no, by the it five, does pass. it? No. Well, Johnny just shook his head. He came over and looked at it, and then they shook his head. No, it don't pass. No. Uh -uh. Could he stick it right next to the five and knock that one ball up the uh, other end of the table? Uh, yeah, there's yeah, that's a possibility. How did you see that shot? I'm well, telling you, the guy. I've been plays. sitting here so close to you, expert, so long. The guy plays a little bit. No, I tell you, <laughs> that's some advanced no. stuff there you just pointed out. <laughs> Jim Rempe and Buddy Hall. If I haven't picked up some advanced knowledge of this game, sitting with you two guys, and then you throw in the Miz and the Wiz, Miserac, I tell you, 
It's hard not to pick up some stuff. Just keep your ears open and occasionally keep your mouth shut. Something I'm not too good at. Is that it, my dad. Uh, we'll see if uh, Luat can do that. Played the five. And made it. That's, that's no good. It, it was no good, is right. I mean, you're shooting for nothing. I mean, there's no well, reward for that shot. No, but he's still shooting, isn't he? Yeah, but what is he shooting at? That's well, the question. But I mean, I, you know, as long as he's shooting, isn't there some advantage to that? If not it, much, if you're not hooked. much. Well, then suppose he hits the one ball, leaves the cue ball up there, and puts that one and buries it back down here behind the three or something. But what Can we're saying, it was easier to do that off the, the shot he just had rather than the one he has well, now. Well, he hit it too hard. Yeah, I liked your shot. It's... Yeah, but he hit it too hard. To, you're going to cut that in? Oh, we've cut Are you that kidding in. me? Well, look Can this at that. cat play a little bit? Well, he's well, going to run this table. What a we shot that was. That one. Yeah. He's gonna run, he'll run this table. He's going to run it now. He'll run the rack. What a shot that was. Oh. He'll run this now. Well, he made the hard one. He's made two tough ones. Maybe he got lucky with the one ball, but the last one was a tough shot. He'll run this table now. He'll run the rack. It'll be 10 6, and he'll have the cue ball in hand to bring it. He's still very much in this thing if he runs. Oh. Now, you know, he has. You know, I've been playing pool for 25 years. I don't think I've quite ever seen a match given away so easily well, to another player. You know, player. this is a very good player, this kid from oh, the Philippines. Oh, excellent player, and I excellent mean, player. He has missed, gentlemen, almost dead in the middle, straight on shots, repeatedly. Some he has missed by four and five inches. Well, Archer is just a couple of routine shots away as his dad looks on from $30,000. Oh, yeah. Hello. All right, Johnny. Man wants you to have it. Wants you to be the world nine ball champion. He sure does. This will, this will be his, uh, what is this, his third world nine ball championships? Yeah. yeah. His second with the pro tour? Yeah. How sweet it is. You know, this is the only tour out there. This is where the pros play. There's a couple other tours out there that really don't mean that much. This is where the pros are. All the best players play for the PBTA. He, the nine ball is no problem, is it, uh, on this shot? He's... I don't think so. I think all he's got to do here is just hope he, hope he lands right on the six. He's going to hit this thin and try to cut it in the corner. Back and forth, right, buddy? Back I, I was forth. looking at the wrong shot. Excuse me, gentlemen. I was looking at the seven ball. I... Ooh. <laughs> look out. Look out. Look out. Little body English. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> Some of the one of the great teachers of all time said more things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. <laughs> there it is. Archer he did. hit it a little fat, but it went oh, in anyway. Yeah. Body yeah. English and everything. Uh -huh. as, they, as they say over in Europe, that one wiped its feet. <laughs> Scuffled its way into the corner. Well, he's just going to shoot the six in the left pocket, and just bring the cue ball straight over and shoot the cut shot on the seven next. Oh, yeah, he could draw past the side pocket. I didn't think he'd get down that way. Isn't that beautiful? Well, he's this shot and one more away from claiming the world nine ball title. $30,000, and what a way to end the Pro Billiard Tour for 1995. Boy, he's taking his time, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, yes, well, I, I don't blame him. I don't either. Deliberate, easy does it. He could play the shot two different ways. He could follow it or draw the cue ball. Either one, play for either pocket. There he is. He's, he's going to pound this a little bit and just come out two cushions. The same pocket. Brings it back. Somebody in the crowd says hello. Yeah. Now the crowd. Trying to urge him on. He's just this one shot away. <laughs> Johnny Archer has done it. He's the world nine ball champion. And once he got over the opening um, disappointments, took advantage of the breaks that Luat gave him, he took a lead at 6-5 and never looked back and finished it out in style. He wins it, 11-5, and with it, $30,000, and we'll talk to these two fine competitors in just a bit. What a magnificent finish to this World Nine Ball Championship here at Winston-Salem, North Carolina. 
Johnny Archer is a big champion. He's won this tournament before. We'll talk to him in just a moment. And of course, uh, Mr. Luat from the Philippines, a magnificent competitor and a very tough match to lose. We also have all of the goodies. Mr. Robertson is here with a magnificent trophy and a great big check. And Russell Bash is here from AMF, and he's got a trophy and a check as well. Rodolfo, um, a very tough match for you. And you started out well, 3 nothing, yeah. And then you kind of made some mistakes that led Johnny right back into it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he says he knows. Unfortunately, it's not easy to talk about one's yeah. mistakes. But you battled back, and uh, it got to be six all, and then he went ahead six, uh, seven to six, and moved on and never looked back. We congratulate you, though, on a great tournament. There's a very nice check for you. In fact, Russell, it's about fifteen thousand dollars worth, isn't it? Yes, sir. On behalf of AMF Playmaster, its employees, and its worldwide network of dealers, including Mr. Puyat in the Philippines, <laughs> I, I want to congratulate you on your fine play throughout the tournament and present to you the second place trophy and of course the check for fifteen thousand dollars again congratulations and fine play thank you congratulations Rodolfo thank spend you. it in good health and enjoy it <laughs> hope to see you again thank, thank you, you very much let me turn to Mr. T. Wayne Robertson of uh, R.J. Reynolds. And is that pretty heavy, uh, T. Wayne? Huh? I'll tell you, Tom, this is very nice. <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> trophy, indeed. Why don't you make the presentation to Johnny Archer, the champion? Well, Johnny, congratulations. You know, 87 games this weekend you won to, to win this world championship nine ball. And I want to present you with this trophy on behalf of all the employees of R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company and our Camel brand, as well as a check for $30,000. Indeed, and there's the check. T. Wayne, Johnny said that he uh, really liked that beautiful trophy, but the check is really something special, isn't it, champ? A little bit more. Uh, I just want to thank R.J. Reynolds and AMF, AMF this week that uh, they really put on a class tournament, and we've really had a good time this week, and hopefully we'll be back again next year. Well, I certainly think you will, and I know that everybody is certainly enthused about the sponsorship of R.J. Reynolds and AMF and all the wonderful people associated with the Pro Billiards Tour. Don't you go away, champ, because we want to talk uh, to you a little bit about some of the... In fact, that little over-the-jump... I got that shot. you got to show me that shot to win a tournament in $30,000. We'll be back with more. The World Nine Ball. The champion is here. We're at Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm Tom. I'm Kelly. We'll be back in a moment. All right, a very fine win for Johnny Archer. He is the uh, world's nine ball champion, but you've done this before, John. Well, this is my third title, and uh, Earl and I have kept it in Carolina for six years, so uh, I was, it was a lot of pressure on Earl and I to try to keep it here. But uh, this has just been a great tournament. It's been a while since I won. I've really, I played really well this year. I just haven't won, and I won the last two tournaments of the year, so I couldn't be uh, having a happier holidays. You won up in Reno, and of course, as you said, we've seen you play beautifully all year long in these majors, uh, just ever so close. You were up 10-4 uh, in one game that got away from you, one big title. Now, here is a shot that I don't know uh, where you found the courage to hit this. You jumped it right over and made this ball in the corner, and the crowd just went crazy with that. Well, that was just a shot. I wanted to kind of kick at the ball, but I couldn't really uh, have any kind of offense kicking at the ball. So I just uh, thought, well, I'll just try to jump in. If I happen to make it, you know, and get a good shot on the three, I can have a chance to win. That was what happened last time when I played Efren in the finals. I jumped over and made the four ball and uh, went on to win from there. So uh, jump shots really helped me win the title, I guess. Well, I tell you, it was a shot worthy of a champion. Here is another one you made in that same contest, this one, of course, tonight. And you cut this four ball. What a magnificent shot that was. Well, uh, I almost missed it there, but... Uh, I love the body English on the other side to keep that cue ball out of the side pocket. Well, you always have to have a little body. It's just like <laughs> playing golf. You play golf. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I made a pretty good cut shot there and laid pretty good on the six. So, is uh, this mom and dad over here? Huh? Yeah, this is Let's bring, here. Come in here. Come in here. Mr. and Mrs. Archer, they're very proud of their son. Come over here. You know, I was watching you, and you were, I don't know if you were crying or just covering your face. You didn't want to watch much, much, much of this. I was huh? getting nervous. Were you nervous? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Dad wasn't nervous at all. He, you knew he had it locked up all the way, didn't you? Uh, not really, I, but it, it was good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was a bit of it. Indeed it was. Very good indeed. Well, it's nice to win a major like this and have Mom and Dad in the crowd, huh? 
Oh, it helps out. Uh, this is the first time I've won a big one uh, in front of them. So they've come to the U.S. Open every year, so I told them this year they couldn't come. <laughs> so uh, I told them at least come to North Carolina. <laughs> well, it certainly is a magnificent tournament for you, Johnny, and our congratulations to you. And a pleasure meeting both of you, and I know how happy you are and how proud you are of your son. Congratulations, World Nine Ball Champion. In addition to winning the World uh, Nine Ball Championship, you are now Player of the Year as well because you now have 1,375 points. Efren Reyes, who didn't make it to the finals, finished with 1360. By 15 points, you become player of the year. That's a little icing on the cake. Yeah, well, that was my, anytime I start the year out, that's always my main goal, player of the year and, and winning tournaments. So, and Efren, I've just been uh, after him all year, and uh, he's just been a terror to try to beat. All I finished, I played really well this year and just, uh, you know, happened to catch the breaks when I needed to to go ahead of him. You did indeed. I'm glad there's not any more tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, John. Congratulations. Enjoy the championship. And thank you, Don. It's been a great tour. And our thanks to all of you out there. We know you've enjoyed watching the Pro Billiard Tour. And 1996 is going to be a great and bigger and better season ahead. My thanks to Jim Rempe and, of course, to Buddy Hall helping out on the telecast. And to all of you from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, that's it for the World Nine Ball Championships. I'm Tom Kelly. And to all of you, thanks and so long.